Let's sit the crosswalk. Let's talk. Can you keep up? You're kind of keen and now we're looking like I don't sleep enough. Take a tone around the food without I'm straight far. I'm the kind of easier mom by taking you to the graveyard. Step out to the city, but you don't know me. Take my wits right with me, but they don't know me. Made me feel like going psycho in the streets. Sit up for later. Instead, I'll make a stylish retreat. Hey, go live, go high, so fly. Oh my, no drop. This guy talk about a misfire. Leave it to misfire. Spitting for cash. I'll never be caught up again. Right in the song. Just say it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Takodachi's Deadbeats, Chambas, Teammates, KFP. Why did I pause before Teammates? I, I knew what they were called. <laughs> I wonder, uh, I feel like they're alligator, oh no, investigators. Yeah, investigators, teammates, right? they have like different, yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little it's confusing. confusing. A little confusing. Investigators or teammates? <laughs> like, like which one, which one is it? That's okay though. Mm. It, it doesn't matter. It's cool. They're all welcome. We're all the same in the ha in our in our heart. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Everybody equally special, important. Hi, I'm your GM, Mori Calliope. The reverb is on now again. Need the god voice mm -hmm. for just another second. Hello. Wow. You guys have waited, Hi. and here we finally are. It's time for the finale whoop, whoop. of <gasps> Myth Breakers. Yay. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh, the clap. The clap, 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 clap is good. <laughs> you don't even have to clap yourself anymore. Clap, 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 clap. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave it to you guys at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it to you guys to take care of that because I'm already It was a mistake to tell us. Yeah. Oopsies. Nice. Oopsies. Oh well. Is that Dr. Oopsie on the table? It sure is. Oh. I brought you guys his favorite drinks. <gasps> Yummy! Oh, let me just chug it down. Well, what is that drink of mine? Uh, it's a fancy little, like, KFP milkshake that I picked up mm. from the KFP. Chicken mm. shake? Yeah. Oh, it looks chicken caramel shake. Yeah. Chick chicken oh, shake? Is no. there, is there shake actual what? chicken I got the, the chicken shakes. No! Oh, no don't yeah. make them liquid. <laughs> they have to stay in, in a form, a katachi. That's what you're thinking. Chicken tenders sound really good right about now, but... Mm, chicken tenders. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I already had a little... A little wheat kale chicken wrap today. I've had oh, my fair wheat. share of chicken. Yeah, wheat kale? I'm eating right now. Yeah. <laughs> Dream sponsored by KFP. Sponsored by KFP. Mm. You're welcome. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Delicioso. Everybody, okay. thank you so much for coming here. Thank you very much for okay. gathering today to finish to finish this fight, to finish this series that we started together towards the beginning of our time together in Hololive. It's a series very near and dear to my heart, and so I'm really glad that we could all come together to really put a concrete conclusion to it because it, it didn't feel right to just end it myself, something that we kind of created together. Um, so I'm very excited. Kelly. Yeah. Yay! Your 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 book moves now. I know how far we've come. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> we've come so far. It moves. Yeah. Ooh. Why is it ending though? The crowd may ask. Um. Well, I think all all good adventures need to come to an end. Um. As you can see, all of us, you know, in our time in Holo have gone on incredible adventures and like done our own done our own things and stuff like that it's just hard to keep up 
these days, um, like doing something that's weekly. So from now on, Ooh. though I won't stop being a GM, I think I still want to do one shots. And that certainly isn't exclusive to, to people that haven't played before. So like if any like couple of you guys ever want to join into a game, etc., that I'm doing, then it will be open to you. I'll be doing different okay. ones well, with various see. groups of people. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like everybody to, you know, I, I was thinking um, I'd like to do shorts that involve, you know, people that have like collabed with each other before, um, just for chemistry reasons and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. So that's kind of like a little requirement that I have, um, but it'll be cool. Uh, you guys can like sign up for different ones in the future. Ah, the BGM is so loud. I pull it down, but it's banging though. Come on, you can't deny. <laughs> yes. You can't deny. Maybe I want it all the way up. So, in order to uh, kind of get you guys familiar again, familiarized again, we went over mm. all of this in the little recap session, but I just want to mm. make sure that everybody here like really, really knows. Um, <laughs> Are you going to recap the recap for us? I the need to make sure you guys remember your characters. <laughs> thank you, thank is you. This the thing? <laughs> <laughs> I need to make sure you remember your characters. And I think... I, I remember the lore of my character, but 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 how to how to use stuff and um right. that and will be the number questions. stuff. Don't the, forget the yeah. mass. Oh, right. Well, in terms of rolling things, um, I've decided for this finale, it's really going to be mostly homebrew. Um, except you know, rolls are pretty easy. You know, you've got your sheets. It's just like some simple some simple math. You just add some dots together and do simple rolls, but. We're not going to be too too much of sticklers for rules this time, just because you know it's the grand finale, and I want to focus on the role play aspect. Um, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. so. So so. Sounds good to me. Yeah. So let's go ahead and remember Tiara really quick. Kiwawa, that's your character. That is indeed mine. Yes. Yeah. She's behind you right now in a kind of stand form. I included yeah, everyone's the... characters Ooh, with them. Now. Staring at me. <laughs> Yeah, deep into your soul. We love Uhu. Uhu has saved you from many, Uhu. many bad experiences. Well, um, now yeah, well, most of the time, Uhu was kind of gone somewhere. Yeah, true. Uhu. Or scouting the area to help you. Mm, yeah, Ooh. useful. And never coming back. <laughs> Occasionally. Uhu. 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 <laughs> I think Uhu has something to say. <laughs> Uhu. Gotcha. Understood, Naruhodo. Oh. Uh. So Tiara is basically just um, a cute, very spirited bird handler. She's got a sharp wit. She's got a sharp tongue. You made a lot of enemies. Like, I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you made so many, so many That's that I can't true. even tie all of the plot threads with all of them because there's too many. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I mean, everyone must be ruthless in a world like this. Understandable. Mm -hmm. I, I, I definitely, I understand it. You know, you gotta you gotta be ruthless. And if we had more sessions, I would make you deal with every single one of them. Um, but this, alas, uh, the session is over. So it looks uh, the, the season, the series, the series is coming to an end. Um, so it looks like you're getting off scot free. <laughs> oh, never freaking punished. I swear to God, I should. Eat you. That's okay. It's kind of cute though. <laughs> it's kind of endearing. Um, yeah. So basically, uh, you had like a little run in with one of your with uh, your brother actually. Yeah, in oh, yeah. the recent session. You met him and learned that he was running um, a hunter conspiracy that robs people. Essentially, he became a thief. <sighs> which is not great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Aww. and he came to rob you guys. Him and his crew. They're all using these special masks gifted Wait, to them uh, by an unknown being. We don't know who it is, but it makes them strong and agile and turns them into dicks. Like, really mean people. Yeah. Uh huh? Did I know this already? No, you learned when they tied you up. Remember, they told they tied all of you guys up in the last session. Oh. Yeah. Inside your home oh. base. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's cool. I can oh, I can remind everyone. Yeah. That's what I'm here to do. I remember being tied up or seeing people tied mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So you were tied up with Watato, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Mm. That's when you met again with your brother. And not only that. But the family members of all of the other members, except for Yule, were also there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was sad. Hey, Yule, on the bright you side, your family's family safe. Destroy. You know, your family's safe, Yule. You're the only one with a normal family. Oh, okay. They didn't ditch me, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, they love you. All right, let me kind of stop just a bit. Yeah, all right. Um, so, speaking of Yule, you'll be all right. The resident hired <laughs> scientist. 
Ah, uh, yeah, it's very tired. College goer. Yeah, you went to a frat party once. It was not fun. Bad went time. was a very <laughs> rough description. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that was the time, all right. Um, but essentially, you became uh, the assistant to the professor who was always doing these weird experiments and never really told you what she was up to. Yeah. Yeah. She was sus. up to some fishy shit. Very sus. Uh, but you, I you couldn't really help it. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you were just doing what you were supposed to do as, as an assistant to the professor, so I mean... But you never really did figure out what she was doing in her lab. Yeah. Yeah. But you really just want a nap. The only thing you really care about is you just want to go to sleep on the floor. <laughs> Honestly, Yule is planning something. I can feel it. Yeah. Well, you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> but Yule is really kind of just, I don't know. Yule sounds like someone that I know in my life. A certain a certain taco that loves to sleep oh, on the floor. I don't know. Well, just your imagination. <laughs> all right. Whatever right? you say. <laughs> whatever you say, you'll be all right. Now we move on to Scout. Oh, Scout. Oh, wait, does it work? <laughs> oh. You were ready for that. Here, let yes. me just put on some, some country bangers really quick for the background. <laughs> Let's see, where's where are the country bangers? I have them in this playlist. I was waiting, I was saving them up. Uh, here we go. Okay. I wanna hear this. Wait, no, this is a happy song. I mean, fun. Scout could also, fun. I mean, be represented by a happy Scout is song. happy and country. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good that intro. Works. You know what? Oh, Scout. Oh, Scout. So special. So, Scout is known for solving her problems by taking her pants off, I guess. Oh, yeah. Scout alarmingly looks like Kyla. Now I can't unsee it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Alarmingly, very yeah. similar. Yellow, like a red. Blacksmith. Yeah. Countryside version that. of Kyla. Yeah, and she is a yes, blacksmith. Yes, bumpkin, bumpkin version, oh. backwards bumpkin version. Wow. Of our beloved blacksmith Kyla. That makes perfect sense, actually. Yeah, maybe, maybe Kyla is. Yeah, Kyla is inspired. You calling by her Scott. a bumpkin? D no, no, no. I'm just, <laughs> I'm saying the design, <laughs> the design. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> She was she was just inspired. Wow, Mythbreakers really has had quite the influence on Holo Live. Anyway, continuing onward, uh, Scout has no last name, but it's okay, just cool. yeah, Scout from Belt Buckle. That's it. She's uneducated. Please be gentle with our uh -huh. dear Scout. Yeah, she, she's she requires a patience. She's not the brightest, but she has a really sharp no. wit. She will uh, make her pants things. do anything for her. Mm -hmm. She's a country girl, and country girls gotta do what country girls gotta do. Even if it's the wrong decision. Yes. Even if it is, you know, burning down um, a, a haystack that is sheltering children, which is a thing Scout <gasps> was cool with doing. What? Did she do that? Yeah, during the beach oh. carnival mission. You're like, can I roll morality? I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> Scout said, fuck them kids. Oh, oh my. Um, Quite wow. literally. Yeah. That's the reason why we're breaking up this group. We can't handle each other's ethics and morals anymore. Uh, yeah. There's just too much disagreement. <laughs> yeah. This is not the best mix. So it's time to part ways. I just want to sleep, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what Scout wants. Do, do, do any of us, Gura, do you know what, what Scout wants? What does she want? I what does Scout want? Yeah. Is that like a... Just in general? Yeah, just in general, like... I, I think know. she just wants experience at the farm, but she just doesn't... She doesn't understand. It's like releasing a... Somebody who grew up really sheltered into the real world for the first time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Why are so you saying just money, wants... chat? <laughs> she want want money. Money. I, I mean, what money. I mean, money is so good. Her family's money. broken, her sister, there's like, it's all chaos, and so she yeah. doesn't really have anything Money can else, fix things. Money can fix a she lot. Don't know not everything. Much about money. Yeah, true enough. But I mean, I guess it could be useful. Anyway, we hope that Scout finds what she's looking for. <laughs> Without burning down more huts. <laughs> more huts with children. In them. Say a quick prayer, everyone. Fix Paul's truck. Nah, nah that guy sucked. Next is Watoto. <laughs> Watoto of the Watoto clan. We're all fans of Watoto. All the, especially Watoto. Tiwawa. I feel like you guys have some good <laughs> Tiwawa, did you just say Tiwawa? Yeah. 
Chihuahua. 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 I'll go ahead and put on the wat the Watoto theme, which is great because when you play Ooh. this track on YouTube in the comment section, it's just people <gasps> talking about Watoto. Really? <laughs> yeah, I guess it, was, it wasn't a really popular track, but this is Watoto. Watoto is just a just a little a little guy just just doing Watoto's yeah. thing. Um, hates the government, really hates the government. <laughs> Loves Watoto family. Um, wants to take down government with big secrets and uh, find yeah, family. Yeah. But actually, Watoto found family. Watoto found the Watoto clan and they had joined Tiwawa's brother's crew of hunters that rob and steal from people. But it's not really their fault. The Watotos are good people. It's just they they got the masks from some mysterious being and they kind of yeah, turned them evil. Yeah. Pity I'm too low now. Oh my god! For real, I, I listened to BGM Busto. BGM Busto. Boost it, boost it, boost it up, turn it up, turn it up. Bass boosted. Bass boosted. Watoto theme. Um, but yeah, that's the Watoto family. Um, and uh, Watoto Watoto. did once again meet them. And um, they said, son, don't be stupid like us. Mm. Um, you know, we made we made a, a deal, a bad deal. So don't make any deals with any space insects or whatever. But... Uh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Space insects. <laughs> space lizards. Space lizards. <laughs> space lizards. Space wizard lizards. Mm. But we all Worm. remember that Watato made. Watato still has a little bit of a baggage in Watato's mm. pocket. A the little worm. deal. Yeah. <laughs> Always creeping over <gasps> your shoulder. Mm. Always creeping over your shoulder, ready a to strike worm? at any moment. Yeah, the worm. You I know what the worm, the worm is? No. A worm in her pocket. What what does that mean? Uh, the worm in her pocket. Like a real worm? Uh, no, it's a space worm. It's a, yeah, W oh, not, Y R M. The wire worm. Space worm. Not a worm like an earthworm, but a worm. With the Y. Oh. Yeah. What is yeah. a worm with a Y? Yeah. With, with a Y. Space worms. Basically like super a... evil entity. Yeah. It has three and heads. And it to Uhu. I mean, it has three heads. <laughs> we tried this so last maybe. time. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we tried this before. It was a big miscommunication. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't think I ever understood it wasn't the actual worm. Oh my god. Worm. What? Are you serious? I don't think I ever got worm. it until now. Did you think it was an actual worm? Yeah, I thought you were talking about a worm. What? Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's oh, a worm. Kiara, it's a worm. Well, even as a worm, I would try it. Because mm. if it fits in your pocket, then but, it should be small enough. But why is it a worm? Aren't, aren't, like, dragons and lizard cold-blooded? Oh, it's... I think it's just a, a symbol from the worm entity, which, like, moves on my hand and is, like, there. Ah! Yeah, what? I've been marked. It's a token, what? a token of of um. It's like an IOU that the worm yeah, stapled so to your hand. A what? An IOU. What's an IOU? You don't know what an IOU is? Uh uh So I an mean. IOU is like she owes you money. Yeah. No, oh, it's someone else. Oh, ah, oh, wait, okay, I was just joking. Okay. I thought. <laughs> well, I, was, I, I owe you. Witty. Oh, I thought I was being witty. Was That's actually okay. it? What? I got it. <laughs> An IOU? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> can sound I'll Google next. it. It's okay. God, if I make a but joke then, and you uh, play that freaking cricket noise, <laughs> that's that's the noise. Hilarity. The old the brum. Harash the GM. The old brum. Uh, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I swear to God. Um, uh, now the last mm -hmm. thing we need to discuss before we really get into this is the roles. Um, nice and simple, quick and easy. I'm gonna be doing the rolls just because I'm just not gonna make you guys relearn how to do that shit. So, what you guys need to do for me, Thank though, you. is I sent you guys... I sent you guys your character sheets, and you will yeah, need to tell me what your numbers are for things like athletics plus dexterity, etc. So let's pretend... Ah. Uh. Uh, Watoto is, uh, running away from the government at top speed. <laughs> I will do my slash okay. roll. All right, Watoto, what is your athletics plus dexterity? Uh, I'm Grab being quizzed. Uh, 
You uh, guys should uh, use your cheat sheet. Oh, I see. It, um, it's uh, uh. You got this. Two, two, two. Okay, that's all right. Is that both of them combined? Yeah. All right. So I roll a two d ten, and let's see how many successes I get. So greater than eight. Ah, uh, you fail. Okay, so the government catches you and takes you away to government prison. No. Uh -huh. All right. Oh gotcha. no. Okay, one out, uh, four to uh, free to go. <laughs> <laughs> for this session. That was fast. You can, you can go sleep or stream now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thanks for joining. Uh, we'll have to in jail forever. We podcast. <laughs> ah, just kidding. I'm not going to let you guys get off that easily. We have. Oh, no. To the do. suffering. The suffering no, must you have suffering. continue. So, now we get serious. The BGM is stopped. <gasps> and now I take us to the, where the scene begins which is in the bar. Oh. The bar. I'm gonna do a little no. previously on. <laughs> okay. How's it going on? Previously on Mythbreakers. Oh. The team was chilling in the bar. They had been doing uh, many different missions for the guild for a while now. Um, the Mythbreakers, as Mythbreakers. Little quests like going and uh, subduing a ghost or chasing off a werewolf or a vampire. And, Things like that, right? Um, until they heard from the boss that some terrible threat was coming for them. And so the boss trapped them inside of the bar and made them basically try and flee as an escape room sort of deal, a forced escape room. Um, Tiwawa, Tiara, was too <laughs> smart for this and used Uhu to trigger some kind of button that accidentally locked down the entire bar. <laughs> which made things difficult for them. However, however, at that exact same time, there was another actual real threat entering the bar, and they used sleeping gas to put you guys to sleep. <gasps> Finally! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Finally sleep! <laughs> yeah, the sleep you, you crave. Involuntary <laughs> nap time, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Congratulations. You got what you were looking for, you. Um, but you guys wake up, and you are tied together. Uh, Yule is tied to Scout, uh, Tiara is tied to Watoto, and the assailants make themselves known. Various members in green masks, yellow masks, and a red mask. Um, they are robbers. They take you guys to the vault, and they steal all of the money and offer you some of it. But first, uh, they tested the bonds between you guys. So, for example, um, you guys had to play a game of ally or betray in which uh, you could try and get some of the money, but the person you were tied up with would be killed in the process. Um, however, oh, yeah. all of your bonds survived. All of you wow. turned out to have close nice. bonds and be that friends. That is impressive. Yatta. Um, however, they did take all the money. They took all the money because uh. of that. So that kind of sucks. Um, <sighs> and, now <laughs> and now effectively, Effectively, there is, um, there's no money at all eh. left over. No. Um, but you guys did manage to untie yourselves thanks to Uhu. Now remember, these masked figures um, were actually led by Kiara, Tiara's, damn it, <laughs> Tiara's brother. Uh, Tiara's brother who was in Egypt um, and had found a mask that granted exceptional power. Uh, he took that mask, all the masks from Egypt, took them back to Mythden and assembled a crew um, of hunters that became thieves, basically. So Ooh. your brother's essentially a thief now. Um, Great. Yeah, uh, very nice. Um, what a weird job choice, yeah. man. Well, he went a little power hungry with the masks and ended up actually crossing paths with Scout's parents and Watoto's parents, who also joined in the thieving guild. Interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, they took all the money and they left. Um, but not without kind of alluding to the fact that these masks were given to them, or at least to, to Tiara's brother, by some unknown mysterious entity while in Egypt. Who that is, we just don't know. Um, but the story left off after Uhu untied all of you guys. You guys are still in the vault and all kind of just standing there having been untied. Last you heard, though, the boss of the guild, Lady M, had been shot. You don't know what happened <gasps> to her. Oh no! And there's Lady M again. She's the body on the bar. Yeah. Yeah. She's 
the one that gives us missions. Yeah, and pays missions. Up. And gives you money. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Clean it up, that means we're next. Oh god. It's all so a do conspiracy. We want, or, do we want our money back, or what? what? It's up to you. At this point, you guys are standing there in front of an empty vault. There is no money for the organization. It's all been stolen by the thieving hunters. And you guys are left there, standing alone. Honestly, it wasn't even ours to begin with, so I don't know if we gotta do... Oh well. The righteous thing. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah. So... Well, I guess we'll go I mean, after them, I don't know. <laughs> Should oh, we really? find the lady who got shot? Oh yeah, she... Uh, where where would she be in the... Well, since you guys are in the vault... Should we look? You guys are in the vault, and there is a bar on top of you guys. Um, it looks as though the emergency lockdown is kind of stopped. You know, there are no metal uh -huh. doors everywhere anymore. Uh-huh. So what do you choose to do? We'll go and check at, in the bar. Okay. Mm -mm. See if... Maybe perception M check! Perception roll! Perception roll! Perception oh, is it the perception oh, roll? Oh, yeah. That's right, that's Would you right. like to do a perception check uh, when you get to the bar? Or do you want to do it in the bar? Yes! Okay. Uh... Uh, Alrighty, go ahead. Actually, and... let me look around uh, and around the vault, see if there's anything the left behind. Vault. Sure. <laughs> All right. What's your perception rule, Yule? Uh, it's uh perception? okay. It's wits plus oh. composure. Wits three, composure four, so seven. Okay, that's right. You had kind of the cracked perception rules. I'm remembering. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Okay, two successes. Uh, you find $20 nice. left in the vault. Oh, nice. Ha! Nice! Yep. <laughs> $20 Damn. left over. Um, and you see also that um, the thieves, the way that they went out, they kind of like closed the door behind them. It's not necessarily locked, though. Um, you do know oh. you do know that that door, you notice a sign above says exit, so it leads to the outside. Um mm. And uh, I would say, in terms of what you hear, um, you can hear some faint movement above. Oh. oh. Mm. Like, like, footsteps, footsteps or footsteps. just voices or mm. unknown? Not high enough perception to tell you. Mm. Okay. Wait, the vault is under the bar? Correct. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. So, not what a very do thick you vault. <laughs> no. Literally mm. the worst. I, I, I do I do feel like there's someone above us. I'm not sure if we should Oh go and check. Yeah, let's go check on her. Wait, is I... there a security room? Would you like to roll to perceive? Sure. Okay. What's Platoto's mm. perception roll? <laughs> mm. Wits plus composure. Six Okay. Oh. Let's see what Watoto gets. All right, that's a 10, which means we re-roll again. I know there is a way to uh. auto re-roll. I'm just not gonna, okay. <laughs> that might be a good time to do the auto re-roll. I'm just not gonna do it. I don't know <laughs> what it is. Watoto, so. lucky. Lucky Watoto, oh. two success for Watoto. Watoto. Oh. Watoto has two oh, nice. success. Uh, so you, you glance around, and interestingly enough, there is a little door that's kind of got sort of, um, like, a, a window to it that has, like, some wire over it in, like, little, little diamond shapes. And above, um, it says cameras. Oh! oh. So there is well, that what do you room. guys want to do? We could check the camera. Oh! Yeah. I didn't know there was a camera room. Mm. <laughs> Let's go check. Check, okay, check. See, see. You guys enter the camera room, take a look around, and you see, well, automatically you can pretty much just tell from the camera that Lady M, you see her there with the the lady that your boss, she has brown and pink hair. It kind of changed in the middle of in the middle of the series there, so it's both pink and brown. <laughs> well, um, she's crawling on the floor with a trail oh no. of blood underneath her. Uh, <gasps> maybe we should go fast. <laughs> uh, we which, which room? Which room is that? Yeah, you take Security the stairs room? to get to the main main bar. It's the main bar yeah. area. Okay. 
She's um, in the main bar. You can see on the cameras that no other assailants are within the building. Oh, okay. That's we good. gotta go fast. Okay. Walk fast up I don't to speed. room. Oh, I don't know speed so quick. You guys speed up. Is she the... dead? I don't know, Scout. She does have a lot of blood beneath her in a trail. I guess you could ask her if she's dead. Uh, Would okay. you like to ask her, Scout? <laughs> Scout does healing check, perception roll. All right, let's Health go. Health check. Okay. Taps wanna... for pulse. Okay, you want to check how much health she has. All right, so uh, you guys rush up to the bar, the main bar area. Um, the lights are kind of flickering. The electricity is kind of shot. Uh, the system has been shocked a little bit. So Scout, you rush up to Lady Madam M, and you decide to do a little health-related perception check, which I will go ahead and modify a little bit. So let's do your wits plus medicine. Uh, ooh, we might be in luck. Uh, two uh, plus three, five. Okay, five. Ooh. All right, let's go. Medicine. Come on! Ooh, that's a oh big my one. god, that's a that's a big Save success em. there. Oh, okay. <gasps> three. Yata. Oh my god. Okay, that's three success. That's four <gasps> successes no. so far. Let's go! Okay, that's four successes. Four successes to check how Madam M is doing uh, on the floor. You kind of turn her over um, and give her a thorough look down. It looks as though she's been shot um, in the stomach, but like not quite near a vital organ. You can tell that she'll probably oh. survive. The bullet is not very okay. big. The hole itself is decently small. She wasn't shot with like a shotgun, obviously. Did it go through her or did it go in and stop? It, it went in and stopped. Oh no. Oh, okay. We're about to take out the bullet. <laughs> yeah. You can tell she probably will live through this, but she is. She is. A, she's lucid, but not making a ton of sense. She kind of mumbles a bunch of shit like, You fucking idiots. Call 911. Let them rob us. I have, I have the skill first date. Does that do anything? Uh, sure. Don't, can I. Don't. Can I help her anyhow? Yeah, sure thing. So. We're gonna keep this extra simple since it's the finale. Go ahead and tell me what your medicine plus wits is. Uh, four. All right. <gasps> Please. One success. All right. Okay. Oh, so you know enough to like make a basic extraction, which she doesn't like. Lots of screaming, lots of, <laughs> um, and you know how to cauterize the wound. Um, okay. There are like heating tools nearby, um, <sighs> and so you are able to do that. It's good enough. And you, you put a okay. bandage on it. You find like a little band-aid, a little first aid kit. A little <laughs> band-aid. Put a band-aid on it, it'll be fine. Band Slap a band-aid on that bad boy. <laughs> and at that point, she's kind of able to get her shit together. And she, she like, after all the screaming, looks at you guys and says, Oh, God, they robbed us, didn't they? Mm, maybe? We got 20 bucks left. Yeah, oh, great. Nothing but 20 bucks left, I know. 20 bucks, Sorry perfect. Sorry about that. Yeah, that well, would we be could great. Split it. Yeah, what did she sure. see That's though? Not... Does she remember? What did you see? What did you, what do you remember? Lots of masked motherfuckers with guns. They were strong. I'd never seen them before though. I don't know who those guys are. Did Ooh. they have masks on? Mm. Any tails? Any animalistic qualities? Oh, like like fur and stuff? Like, like furries? Anything. No, they did Anything. not have tails to their, their bodies. No. Wait, we know who did this, don't we? Yes. Well, okay. it's, it oh. was no one else. It wasn't any other assailant, that's it for sure. It was our family. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. I was just checking if there were like, the same people. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. It was your family? Y yes. Not Turns mine. Out my brother got some mask and built, uh, created a thief guild or something like that. At a... What are the family possessed by demons? Mm. Wow. Wow. What should we do? So William? by that by that extension of that, you know what? I would make all of you owe me. Considering that it's family and family's debts get passed on. Hey, hey, hey. There was not a, none of my family in that crew. Okay, you you're oh. free. Uh, oh, hey. Thank you. Hey! We, we we will get back what we're what we've been stolen. Oh forget it. Honor. I don't need the money. To be honest, I think this is a sign. A sign from God. Well, it looks like... God? I mean, I mean, I don't know. It's just an expression. What was the money needed oh. for? Where did it come from originally? 
Men from all of the different missions that you guys have been doing. We've been storing up here. Of course, you get your cut, but there's a much bigger amount of money that comes from that. You took a huge cut? Uh, what? I mean, it's just how business goes. Was there a contract on it? I don't remember signing a contract about the cut. Do we I really have to get back the yeah. money that was stolen? Yeah, I, I can give you a contract. She says she pulls out a pistol. It's kind of too late now. Eh? Pistol! <laughs> you want a contract? You want to make a contract? <laughs> well, I also pull out my, 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 my pistol. Oh, gosh. Come off it. <laughs> it's not that dire. Uh, uh. Look, here's the thing. Essentially, our organization has no money. It's not that big of a deal, but think of it as us going bankrupt. In other words, you all are free to go. Oh. It's over. Okay, bye. 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 Thanks. Yes, you yep. are hereby released from the Mythbreakers. That's yeah. it? That's it. Oh. It's as simple as that. I thought start a business. We just saved your life and that's all you got for us? Thanks. I have you to go literally pick up my son you from die. soccer practice. Excuse I mean, me. But you have a son? Yes, uh, he's he is eight and he's at soccer I practice. I feel like... I feel like again? I should go to the hospital uh, yeah. for soccer practice. Ah, it's a flesh wound. Well, what you don't think they're going to go after for your son next? If what happened to Vic, to... by the way? Who's Vic? Oh, what? Vic. Oh, yeah, the vampire oh. prince. I'm not sure. I haven't seen him in a while, to be honest. I heard that he got some other job at a school. Oh, he's gone? Thank God, Ada. <laughs> Can Scout say something? Yeah, what do you want to say? Scout watched a lot of videos growing up. Uh, in my my crime fighting videos, usually if they're trying to kill people, they'll go for the entire family. <gasps> Do you think your son's in trouble now, oh. Madam M? Oh. Her <laughs> eyes get kind of wide. I mean, he is... He is a brown belt in Taekwondo, so I think he oh, might be Brown okay. is not good enough. Are, not even a black sure? belt. Oh. I need to go pick him up. Um... <laughs> All right. Well, I don't think you're in any any shape to drive, ma'am. Are you gonna go Would pick you... up my son for me? I mean, we can go together. Not for free. I'm mean... pretty sure your son doesn't know what we look like. Make it take if the we, bus. If we if we take a van or something, you know, might be suspicious people trying to pick up a kid into a van, and I don't think that's really smart. Got any Without family you, you can call, ma'am? No, it's just me taking care of my. My eight-year-old son. Uh, You're very... Who's the father? Doesn't matter. Who's private. Your daddy? That's private. Oh, your business. Information. <laughs> 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 Just curious, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's right. It's none of your business. It doesn't matter. I mean, eight years old. He can walk, I guess. Yeah, that is true. Look, he can run his first errand, Anna. Look, if you want to go ahead and drive me over to the, the soccer field, you can drive me to the soccer field. All right, let's drive her to the soccer field. Right. Make sure, you know, just... Okay. You know, well, we can, we can so leave nice after. Lady, we have yeah. I mean, to do. I mean she's, she's a bleeding lady on the floor. We can't just leave her she's here. She's just trying to kill Tiara. Well, well. I'm, sure, I'm sure she didn't mean too much harm, okay? She was going to let us go. It's the least... You know, we can do help her get back with her family. Mm. Yeah. As long as we left the bullet in, should we find? I guess, yeah. but let's make it yeah. quick. I don't okay. Know. All right. All right. I, I'm sure I can. Do. Let's do zoom, zoom. I can drive quick. Don't worry. Okay. All right. All right. Before you leave, she grabs a bunch of the wine bottles in the cabinet, just puts them in her purse. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh, 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 you kind of oh, remind oh. me of. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can walk just fine. She's kind of limping. Carry. <laughs> Scout can carry her. Should be fine. Versus carry? Ooh. No. Fire no. No. wound. <laughs> Scout <All right>. refuse. <laughs> all right, all right. Everyone all right, so get in the car. Roll your driving, Yule. Uh, my drive is three. Okay. 
And I also have aggressive driving skill. Mm. I'm not sure <laughs> if we can driving. get to the soccer field on time. Okay, are you gonna try and like run over other people in a, in order to get to the soccer field on time? <laughs> nah, <Right>. maybe <laughs> speed a little bit, but not running over people. Gotcha. Okay. Be okay. Before we go, I'm taking all of my items that I own. Just saying. I mean, including yeah. my walkie-talkie. Okay. As and, long as and, you've been keeping and, track of your items. I have I a track take of it. Yes, yes, I have many tracks. Hey, 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 don't touch the twenty dollar. I'm keeping it safe, okay? Do we have to mm. specify? I'm taking all of my items as well. Uh, <laughs> my Let's see. Well, here's the thing: is I certainly wasn't keeping a list of them. So if you want to go ahead and just, yeah, you have the list. Okay, you mm -hmm. have your list. So if you guys want to go ahead and tell me what you take, it can be okay, pretty much touch. anything. You gotta think about it though. Like you gotta. Be careful, like, you have to take things, and after this, you can't go back and get more. Oh. Okay, I'll take two bottles of water. Okay. <laughs> From the bar. Mm-hmm. Uh... I'll write this down. Uh, my cell phone, of course. Okay. Um... Did I have any weapons? Did I have a taser or something? I forget. You had a taser, I believe. Okay, I'll take my taser. Yeah. Um... And, uh, uh... Oh, and my phone charger. Can't forget my phone charger. Of course. Surely I have a phone charger on me. Yes. And, uh... Yeah, okay. Cool. That, that, that should be it. Okay. Watoto, okay. $20? Or is you oh. holding the $20? I'm holding the 20 because I found it. Okay. I'm keeping it safe <laughs> that is until true. we get to McDonald's. Yeah. Gotta save for the Mickey D's. All right, how about you, I, Watoto? Watoto take a battery from every remote and item <laughs> in the bar. Okay, <laughs> a little rude, but sure, go for it. And Watoto take handmade arsenal. Okay, Ooh. gotcha. Oh yeah, you are quite the, the crafty one, aren't you? Okay, handmade arsenal. Excellent. Lots of bombs and crafty things. How about you, Scout? What are you taking? Uh, I was trying to remember. I think Scout... I think I had... Excuse me. I think I... <laughs> Scout had, a, like, a really well-made pickaxe yes, or you something. Yes, A really good or, pickaxe. And a dagger. I don't remember. She had a bunch yes, of weapons. Yes, did have a dagger. I remember Maybe that. Maybe a match. Okay. Or something. Yeah, you can bring a match matchbox. And some... So, so, uh, so I guess we'll just go you with wanna, that. You want to bring an extra pair of pants maybe <laughs> no i mean that's fine i got two legs on this one <laughs> true enough okay. it's two tourniquets okay all and we right. all get blown up somehow yeah and what have you got tiara what is your list well of? well so <laughs> <laughs> you have your nice i got my rifle. uh phoenix pendant mm -hmm. i got i'm bringing i mean i'm not bringing all of it i guess i'm bringing the pendant the combat knife mm -hmm. my revolver my mm -hmm. walkie-talkie and my phone. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. uh, a poison bottle. Okay. Ooh. Oh, uh, wow. A lighter, a rope. Mm, okay. I'll take duct tape and mm, zip ties rope, as well. <laughs> and I don't know what it's useful for, but I got an enchanted mirror. Okay. Gotcha. And and I'm bringing the Bolin Sniffs enchanted sniper rifle that yes. I have never used until now. <laughs> yeah, Bolin Sniff. Bolin Sniff, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bolin Sniff. Bolin Sniff? That I, that that I abused Sniff. or something. Yeah, he was like uh -huh. a... He's a fairy that lives in the hedge and hunts humans. All right. Oh, sniper. Oh, yeah, yeah, sniper yeah. rifle. Now, do I have to, like, specify or, like, buy a munition for the revolver and Nope, the we don't sniper? do ammunition in this series. Okay, so good. good. Okay, okay, Unlimited. Unlimited ammo. My favorite type of game. Oh, and, mm. I mean, I got the hairpins in my hair still. That's, uh, six True. hairpins. <laughs> okay, you got it. Six hairpins. Lock pick. <laughs> Let's go! Okay. Wait, can what Toto take I up? Don't forget Uhu! Uh -huh. Lock pick now. Yeah, Lock pick. Oh, yeah, Uhu, of course. Uhu, Uhu. always comes by. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. and what do you want to take, Watoto? Uh, alcohol. Oh, right. <laughs> you got it. Which kind? Yeah. Vodka. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A massive explosion, if okay. needed. I see. Not for drinking, but for creating, creating big bomb. Okay. Mm -hmm. And gotcha. maybe drinking while creating. True. True. 
right. Just a sip. <laughs> oh, whoops, that's okay. wrong. Okay, great. So you guys are all loaded up into the car and um, mm -hmm. you actually got one success. So it's a decent drive. You know, you did oh. succeed um, yeah. in making your way over to the soccer field. And interestingly enough, the address that, that Madam M gives to you, Yule, is actually the same address as your local college. Huh? Yeah. It turns out that the eight the eight year olds are using this soccer field for practice. Mm -hmm. Oh. So you've actually for a second been I here. thought for a second I thought Sun was a genius, you know, being in college <laughs> playing soccer. It could be eight that. Years old. I mean, it could be. You roll up and you do see that the eight year old is playing with a bunch of twenty year olds. Alright, uh, what? What? As he moves oh, quickly across the field, you see that Is he that? kicks the ball with ease. He's swift, very quick, scores a goal. All the adults what? drop to their knees. What the hell, man? Whoa. Is that? <laughs> yes, suckers, says the Your child. Man. Yes, unfortunately. Your kid have super speed or something? He's just very gifted. Are you sure you're human or your son? There's no way an 80 year old can play against. You're 80? 80? 8 year olds. 8 year olds. Oh, thanks. Not said, 80. You said 80. Oh, sorry, sorry, hard of hearing. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Maybe, you know what? Maybe he is 80. It just looks 8. Okay. You never know in this type of world. Who could say? Who could say? She does say no comment. No. If, if no you comment. really wanted the answer to that, that would give you too much information about the father. And I'd prefer that you just not know. Oh. Is Vic the father? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yuck, disgusting. Ah, oh, you're dirtying up the car. Oh, sorry, I'm just getting really nauseous right now thinking about anything like that with Vic. Uh, understandable. I would feel the same, Ada. Uh, Almost as if you crazy. summoned Vic him. The car. On cue. Uh, Vic oh. exits no. the college building with a broom in hand. Oh, hey! No. Hold on a second. No. I like that he's here. He's here. No. Oh, hey, guys. I, hey, guys, I, what's going on? Tiana acts as if she doesn't know him and looks away. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, hey what... Tiara, it's been a while. <laughs> Good Why to see you. Aren't you a slight for sore eyes, No, Vic. no. Oh, hey, I Scout. How are you guys doing? You guys want to go to McDonald's instead? Uh, yeah, let's drive somewhere else. We we dropped off the lady. Let's drive quick, 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 quick. <laughs> wait, 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 no! Hold on a sec. Hey, big quick question. Can I have that broom you're holding on to? Oh yeah, sure, Scout. What you gonna use it for? I don't know. I just want to hold on to it. <laughs> you oh. think you can fly? No. Oh. Like a witch. It's made of wood though. It feels real sturdy. <laughs> Mm. Oh, okay, Scout. Yeah, sure. Here, here you go. I don't really know what you're gonna do with it. He gives, he gives you the broom. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a nice day. <laughs> Just holding on to it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Scout got a broom. Do, 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 do. You will, as Sorry. soon as you start thinking about going to McDonald's with the team and just forgetting about all of this, because, you know, Ma Madam M is kind of sauntering out of the car and, you know, waddling towards her son, who's now kicking Ooh. all the adults in the shins. She's like, Stop, <laughs> Timmy, hey, Timmy. Timmy, stop. <gasps> Shut up, mom! You're so lame! No, Timmy, please. <laughs> Timmy, I can't. Mommy's wounded. Mommy's morally wounded. Come on. Oh, we need to get going. Mommy's Go been shot. Go Timmy. Mommy's been shot. <laughs> Mommy's been shot, Timmy. <laughs> As she he kind of help. waddles toward her son, you you actually get a phone call. Oh. Mm. Yes. I'll take the phone call. Hello, right. this is Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> you hear... A familiar voice on the phone. A voice you haven't heard in a long time. Hello there, Yule. It's me. Hello? Don't you remember? It's the professor. Uh, uh, you're, you're cutting out. Oh, oh, so sorry. Realistic. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Don't you remember, Yule? It's me. The professor. I oh, oh. <laughs> well, do doctor, how, how have you been? I've been busy. Very, That's very good. busy. 
I've that's, been. That's good. I've uh-huh. been waiting for you. For you, Yule. Are you for, ready? For, ready for ready for ready ready for what? You'll turn on the speakerphone. I could turn on the speakerphone. <laughs> okay, I'll, I turn on the f- speakerphone for everyone. Guys are outside the college right now. You turn on the <laughs> no. speakerphone. No. I've done it. I found a way to save the world, Yule. You were saving the world. I was. All of this time, I figured out what it wanted, and I created something magnificent. What? 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 I want to share it with you, Yule. Kind of okay. Yeah, that's um, a little stranger danger. So, uh, um, will uh, you come we, meet me? I, I mean, I guess I'm. Are Are you at the Are you at the uh, at the lab? I'm kind of nearby. I can drop by if you want. Want? Yes, I'm in my lab, but you're going to need to go underground. Mm, there's an underground. There is. Go to the, the janitor's closet. The janitor's closet. Oh, about the metro. Oh, okay. Bring mm-hmm. everyone. 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 You know about. Uh, wait, you know how us? do you know about more? What I've do you mean by everyone? You. I've been watching <gasps> you so patiently, watching all of your adventures. You too are serving my same goal. And thusly, I think it's only important that I invite you to be a part of this. Uh, oh, what a, it sounds uh, like a cult meeting. What if I don't want to be part of it? Maybe you know, you build a flux part. capacitor, sir. It's, a, it's okay. We'll go with you. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be fine. We'll, okay. we'll be there with you. I don't. Or, well, I guess if it's with everyone, it we'll we'll get through it, right? Um, don't forget that you owe me, Yule. I've given you many many A's in the past. <laughs> I think I've Sorry. earned those A's and also the paychecks for the TA that I've been doing in the lab. Um, Your work has been a little sloppy. Uh, uh, <laughs> Stop sleeping on the floor, the by the way. Well, if there was enough time to complete the task you've given me, and and all right, Just all right, all right. Don't cry. I'll get to the lab. I'll get to the lab. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. That's a long way to stay. Okay. I mean, you, so, you before we go, this person, yeah. we don't even know this person. Is it? Are we walking into a trap or something? You think there's a chance uh, for that? I don't know. I don't know. The prof has always been so mysterious. Doing Is he trustworthy? All kinds of experiments. I don't know, but. The whole part about saving the world is kind of suspicious, so... Yeah. You know, I've watched enough shows to, you know, know that it can go right or wrong either way, so... Well, it'd know, be five know. against one. I think we should take him. Five? We should see at least what he has to offer. Five? We're taking Vic? four? I can't count. No, no, Why no. I mean, we have to go to the janitor's hey, closet. Hey, guys, you need I don't know help? where that is. Hey, hey, Vic, do you know where the janitor's closet is? <laughs> well, I am a janitor. Would be a pretty exactly. bad janitor if I didn't know where the janitor's closet was. I mean, I mean, it <laughs> happens, right, Vic? <laughs> Could you take us there, please? Lead the way. Yeah, sure, I can show you around. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, so Guess we park the car. Around. Let's right. follow. And go for the closet. Meanwhile, you do see that Madam M kind of waves at you guys <laughs> and says, um... Hey, um, I'm going to the hospital, and then we're moving. Okay. Moving. O- okay. Florida. Bye. We're moving to Florida. Luck. No one will find us. Ooh. No, nobody will come after us there. Greet the alligators. My mom. I don't want to move to Florida. All my friends are here. And he Aww. looks back at the adults whose shins he kicked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All so right. you guys go ahead and waltz into the the school, which is well, it's summer break right now, actually. Um, which is the main reason why uh, the field is being used by others at this point in time. However, it is it uh. does still te- seem to be a team of adults, so that part's a little strange. Um, but, um, but the college itself is closed. So, you know, Vic explains to you all, You know, I was actually just doing a bit of cleaning around here inside of the school. 
um, you know, for summer and whatnot. But what what exactly do you guys want to do in here again? What's the deal? Uh, we're I'm vis I actually go to this school if you remember. Um, I'm just visiting the professor, and the professor kind of asked if we could. Uh, I think check we should out. tell him everything. You'll tell Are him you everything. Sure? He's an alibi. If things go wrong, we'll have somebody on the outside. What all was right, that? What did you say? Right. What did you say? So, uh, but, um, but, but the professor, right, wants uh, me to visit, uh, and and the lab. But we gotta go through the underground, which is apparently accessible from the janitor's closet. I don't know which janitor's closet, but you know, since you were you were the janitor of the school, uh, I thought maybe you know you could possibly know where. That could be. Oh, well, we actually have 25 janitor's closets. Oh, man. <laughs> exactly. Do you, do you. Janitor's closets. Yeah. Is there any one of them that you find very uh, interesting or. Sus sus mm. Not suspicious. I mean, something interesting that happens in any of them. Any people walking in or Possibly. out of a uh, closet often? Oh, uh, let me Any see. Of them let got me a roll bookcase? a memory check. I mean, let me try to remember. Okay. Vic says as he rolls a memory check. Mm-hmm. Come right. on, Vic. Think, Vic, think. Oh, two successes. Uh, nice. Okay. Nice. Oh, uh, matter of fact, I actually think I do remember something like that. Um, <gasps> there's, there is one closet that I like to go to, um, to like watch, you know, usually it's my break room. I like watch a bunch a of, break you know, room. yeah, I just chill, sit back, you know, smoke a vape, watch some, uh, some television, you know, um, and there is a draft that I don't like very much, you know, kind of, kind of kills the vibe, you know, the wind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I could take uh, you guys there. Wanna... Yeah, yeah, let's let's yeah. start from there. Why not? Okay. Follow me. Following. Yeah. Yes, chat. He vapes. He's a vapor. <laughs> He's a vaping boy. So Vic kind of, you know, casually leads you guys um, into the janitor's closet. And it's um it's like a very kind of how do I say? It's um it looks cozy, but it's like empty and you know, there's like a sink. Mm. There's like mm. um a little chill area, you know, it doesn't actually have a lot of cleaning stuff in it, weirdly enough. It looks more like a break room than a janitor's closet, aside yeah. from the, you know, the odd mop here and there. Um, mm -hmm. But Vic says, yeah, here it is. Uh, need me to do anything else? Uh, 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 no, we'll, we'll take a look it around and see if mm -hmm. this is the one. I guess there's a perception Wait. check to look around. Indeed. Can yes. you ask him where that draft was oh. coming from? Oh. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Draft. Before he goes, if he could just point it out. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Um, the draft. Uh, da, 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 over here. Ma eh, eh, that's weird. It used to be right over here. I remember because, you know, this is where I sit to, like, chill. Aww. And it really killed the vibe, uh, you know, with the draft and, and whatnot. I really couldn't oh. focus. Yeah. Hated that draft. Um, but I don't know. Eh. Um, you can look around here on the, the right side of the room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All, right. All right. I guess I'll I'll look around now. Hidden door. Yeah. Perception. Perception oh, check. Yeah. I have bad yes. perception. You guys a <laughs> seven. All right. Seven. D Come on, you look. Yule you Yule. Yeah. What do you see with your special eyes, you? <gasps> wow, four successes. Oh, oh, oh nice. Not. All right. So pretty much immediately, you you are able to sense the draft. Um, coming from the corner of the room, and interestingly enough, um, you see a small crack in the wall right behind where the, the super dinky 1970s TV is. Um, it's very faint, and it looks, oh. it looks like you definitely would not have noticed it unless you, unless you looked really hard. And there isn't any draft coming out of it anymore, interestingly. It seems almost as though somebody realized that this this crack in the wall was here and tried to oh. cover it up. We try to uh, open it or break it somehow. Pickaxe is gonna guys, some strength. Yeah, guys, I, I think, I think this is pickaxe time. It's uh, perfect. 
pickaxe time? No, you know how high. Oh, uh, can I like knock on the wall or something to s kind of get a feel for how thick or there's mm -hmm. like a wall? Like yeah. What's it? Yeah. Button or anything? You knock on the wall and it seems like it's very thick. No button in sight. Oh. It seems as though it's been resealed by someone from the inside. Oh. Pick, pick. As though someone wanted well, to be sealed in there. Sealed in there. Mm. Mm. Is it... Can we see if it's like... Is it drywall? Is it mm -hmm. what's behind the... Do you know what I mean? Like Yeah. What kind of rock it is. Material? Yeah. What is that? Is it even... I don't want to smash a pickaxe on something that isn't even smashable. Oh, true. Yeah, that would be really bad for your pickaxe. All right, oh, go yeah. ahead, Scout, and tell me what... Um, what your uh let's just do a typical um a typical wits and um let's just do wits and composure perception i think that would be best for That's me. A four okay perception check for scout okay that's one success and then okay all right one success um you can tell that it's not brick um it seems to be a bit less tough than brick, whatever is behind there. Not quite drywall, not quite brick. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, so like wood? Like yeah. plywood? Like yeah, pike seems pike more axe. like wood. Fuck is a, a pike wood. Oh. Mm. Crystal wood. pickaxe. <laughs> yeah, seems we like wood. We could throw wet toto against it. That oh. should work. <laughs> Shoot <laughs> forced. Ah! Mm. Yeah. Mass traveling quickly at the wall. <laughs> He's quite throwable. Wet toto. <laughs> I told you to take a TV antenna. Ooh. Okay. Okay. And uh, I told you to take a battery and smash. <laughs> Wait, how, what, what's the, the TV battery? on? <laughs> Is there a TV in the break room? Is this something we can uh, bust through? It's on Teletubbies. Oh. Who still plays Teletubbies? I, don't I don't know, want to TV. Okay. light battery <laughs> acid on fire. Okay. <gasps> Gotcha. Okay. You want to light the battery uh, acid on fire? That's going to be a crafts roll. It's going to be wits plus crafts. Mm, oh dear. Five. All right. I have an alchemy skill. Oh, alchemy? Um, mm -hmm. let's see. Does that apply here? Alchemy is making stuff out of... Yeah, I guess that would make, that would make sense. I'll go ahead and I'll apply it. All right, two oh. successes. Um, you create... One vial of battery acid, and you have exhausted the battery. Unfortunately, um, you've had to use all the batteries that you collected in order to make this. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. You have one vial of battery acid. Does anyone have a lighter? Uh, I do. Okay. Yeah, you did bring a lighter. Ooh. I don't oh, know what it is if you don't want to use your lighter f fluid. Oh, true. It's just one time turning it on. Right? Okay. Does battery acid blow up um that's a great question hold on i don't know <laughs> how that works <laughs> i think it just like eats through things because it's really acidic right let's see no um, battery fluid can evolve flammable hydrogen gas when exposed to metals this seems complicated very hard to extinguish <laughs> is it gonna catch the whole thing on fire if it's wood what is the building made we're of? setting the whole school on fire they probably can explode, yeah we have upgraded lighting. Okay, I've children I on fire. <laughs> <laughs> We've upgraded. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, it is flammable. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Battery acid explodes when it comes in contact with water. What? What? Saliva is water. <laughs> okay. What the total spread Who's battery the acid mouth? on the hole? Okay. On the the crease in the wall. Mm hmm. Okay. You spread the battery acid. Now, what do you choose to do? Wait, I have I have a bottle of water. I can use a little bit of water. Does it explode there? Wait. Uh, okay, I, I, I'll question. step back. Uh, I, I'm stepping <laughs> out of the room uh, while you guys are And doing then that. we can light it up because it has hydrogen, <laughs> right? Hydrogen. Yeah. It looks yeah. like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you ex you use one water bottle. Okay. Now you have one left. Okay. And maybe uh, Scout should throw one of the matches while we're standing outside of the room, just for safety. Oh yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I give mean, you my Nick matches. To do it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'll give some of my matches and they can do it. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not dangerous. <laughs> no, hey Vic, wanna carry this uh, 
match into the room. <laughs> Real and quick. into a small room. What for? With no <laughs> windows. <laughs> wait, wait, what do you need me to do? What are you going to make me do? This seems dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Just, just stand here in the door frame while we're standing behind you and throw this match at that little, you know, that thing there. Oh, oh yeah. How's okay. your aim, Vic? Um, let's see. I'm really good at cornhole. Amazing. Okay. Perfect for the job. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, can I hit my vape really quick? Uh, uh sh sure. Okay, hold what? on. One sec. You want to vape now? Yeah. Hey, I'm can just you a little wait nervous. A second? I'm, I'm just I'm a little <laughs> nervous right now, you know. It's, <laughs> you guys are really looking at me funny like I get this really strange feeling from you guys. Like, we can we can look the other way, you know. Yeah. I don't know about this. You guys are gonna have to. Someone's gonna have to roll persuasion to persuade Vic to do this. I have I have persuasion uh, All right. social skill. All right. What well, is your? It's actually pretty weak, but it's um it's there. That's okay. Uh, what is your persuasion plus expression? Two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there. Uh, you do not succeed. In fact, you what? almost fail. In fact, I think you do fail. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, I. Well then, I'll do well, it. I'm out, you guys. Sorry about that. I just, uh, uh -huh. I feel. I'm gonna go vape outside. Wait, can but someone intimidate? <laughs> oh. You want to scare him into doing it? I have one intimidation. I have two. Oh, okay. Go, Watoto. Watoto. Very intimidating, Intimidate. Watoto. All right, intimidation plus expression. Uh, where's expression? You can also use manipulation social? for this one. I will uh, allow it's above. that. Above. Oh, oh. And... I don't have any. Just intimidation too. Okay. I have expression and intimidation if we need it. Okay. So let's see. Um, then that'll be a minus one. So Waza, so you can only roll um, uh. a one, which is dangerous. Let's uh, go. Can I can I try persuasion and kind of sure. manipulate persuasion? Okay. You want to try yeah. a manipulation persuasion roll? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's a three. Better right. than a one. <laughs> Come on! Alright. Intimidation is always an option if this doesn't work. Okay, uh, same uh. number. Um, which, you know, now Vic is really, like, about to leave. He's uh. like, actually, I think... Actually, I think uh, I'm gonna smoke my vape on the other side of the field. Uh, Scout, no. you have a chance. <laughs> you have a chance if you'd like to intimidate him. Scout! Go, Scout. We'll give it a try. All Expression right. plus intimidation is three. Okay. Uh, it's a critical <laughs> success. Oh, <laughs> nice! She rolled up her invisible sleeves. <laughs> um, so what do you say to Vic, Scout? Something. I can't, I don't know, I didn't say this to uh, It's okay, you can, fewer words is fine too. You can just tell him to get over there. Give him, give him a hug or something afterwards. Scout, Frighten, Frighten intimidation. about breaking his vape. Oh, yeah, uh, oh. You do do it, do it or else. Oh, okay, fine. God, she scared scared shit out of buddy. Me. God, she doesn't even have to say anything in particular. She, <laughs> she just looks scares coldly. It's the eyes. <laughs> it's, the eyes. <laughs> it's those. It's the eyes. It's All right, those fine, eyes. My, do it. my one, my green eye. Oh my god. Okay, fine. All right, uh, stand back, ladies. He holds the nice. match, um, and says, "Do you want me to throw it? What do you want me to do?" Watoto spread battery acid all over wall and crack, so yes, throw. Okay, I throw. Now, what's the order of you guys standing behind Vic? <laughs> uh -oh. oh, God. What's the order? Um. Just need uh, to know GM reasons. Uh, I, I, I mean, I mean nothing we, we gonna... can all be pretty far away. I mean. Because we knew it was dangerous going in. Yeah, so we're, we're kind of standing on the other side of the hallway. Mindful yeah. step back. Okay, Vic sure. is on the doorway. Okay. Okay. No problem. All right. Good so... luck, Vic. <laughs> yeah. Anything for you, Tiara. <laughs> and he, thro <laughs> he throws the match, and all of a sudden there's a huge boom, um, and everything feels hot for a second. You guys wow. feel like your skin is being ever so slightly scorched, but because Aye. because Vic is the one that's kind of you know taking the brunt <laughs> of it, um, you guys mostly turn up safe. No damage really worth mentioning. Um, Vic, on the other hand, is on the ground. 
Um, he's not dead because he's a vampire and whatever. He should be fine, but he's definitely mm. not conscious. At least the wall is open. Okay, good. Well, since he's not conscious, we don't have to deal with uh, anything now. <laughs> with him being just, himself. Let's just step over him carefully. Uh, Wait, you can't, oh. can't breathe chemicals from fire. Oh, mm, smart. Also, Careful. I can't hear. What? Roll. Ro. Big boom, no? Big boom, may we sound? True, we sound. It does eventually oh. calm down, though. Thankfully. Okay. okay. But it is it is a little bit difficult to hear. However, Watsuto, you are you are correct um, about the chemicals. There are yucky chemicals around here. Mm. What do you guys choose to do? Run fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that how you guys would like to handle? Hold breath. Through? Okay. Hold breath and run into. Yeah. Uh... Oh. Scout puts on the goggles she has on her forehead. To oh, nice. Her eyes. Okay. Cool. You have goggles. All right, everybody, I'm going to have you roll um, an athletics dexterity roll to see how quick oh, you can get through no. the gas. Um, except Easy. for Scout, because of your goggles, I think you're probably fine. So, let's start okay. with Yule. Yule, what's your athletics plus dexterity? Athletics and dexterity? Mm hmm Okay, three, three. Okay. Here we go. Um, that's not what I meant to do. Hold on. <laughs> Roll 3d10 greater than 8. Uh, zero successes. Okay, so um, oh. as you run through the, the smog and chemicals, you'll, you do um, unfortunately not run quick enough to really stop from breathing in some of it. Um, I'm going to have you take three bludgeoning damage. Oof. Oh. Don't worry, I'll keep track of your health over here. So bludgeoning, so there are three different levels of health, if you guys remember. There's bludgeoning, uh -huh. lethal, and, and um, mortal. Or like um, mm, you're, uh -huh. you're gonna die damage, right? Yeah. Um, so bludgeoning is okay. Bludgeoning is just a slash. Mm hmm Okay. Yule is just a slash. Three slashes. Okay. Um, eventually though, if you get lethal, those will turn into X's. Um, okay. And you just you mm -hmm. really don't want to get the the worst damage, which is the mortal damage. But you'll be fine, probably, unless you <laughs> won't be. Um. Wait. You said you'll be fine. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I like that. Yeah, it's, you're pretty sharp. You, what's your health by chance? Uh, oh, your little sheep. The one you gave me had six, so okay. I don't know if there's an updated one. Okay, gotcha. We haven't really, we aren't really using EXP for this series, just because it's a bit short. Um, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Next up, we've got Tiara. Are you ready to run through the smog? Hell yeah, I got six. Ooh, those are Chad numbers right there. I like it. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Um, yeah, I don't even really need to reroll this 10, but you're... Oh. Yeah, suffice <laughs> to say, four successes, you're fine. Yay! Yeah, you're absolutely <laughs> A-OK. -okay. All right, Watsuto, well, your turn. What's your athletics plus dexterity? Two. Okay. Oh. I should oh, have boy. held Watsuto's hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sadly, Watato, uh, you take similar damage to Yule. Um, it's three bludgeoning damage. What is Watato's health? Uh, eight. Eight. Okay, you're you're a sturdy one, so you should be fine. Okay, so all of you do manage um, to get through. Oh. Eventually, to get through the the wall, and uh, you find yourselves in a totally different area, an area that is completely unlike this area, or the Ooh. previous area, in that it's much darker, it's much older, and there's something off about it. Ooh. In that it seems like a place that just isn't visited often by humans. But you know that that can't be true if the professor is back here. Kelly. Yeah. S-T-R-G, uh, C-T-R-L, F. Just so you know, that's easy in OBS. What is it? <laughs> if, if something's like oversized when yeah. you put it into the uh, screen and you mm -hmm. press CTRL plus F, Control it will F. immediately f like adjust it to your oh, window size. Oh, nice. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> CTRL. Control. Control. CTRL. The control. <laughs> I see, I see. Gotcha. Thank you, Kiwawa. <laughs> You're All welcome. Right. <laughs> So you guys enter this brand new hallway. Who would like to roll a perception check? Me. Okay. 
The good ones. You it's a see seven. them all. Okay. What are your numbers, Yule? Seven. Okay. Let's see what you see with your special eyes. Four sixes. Okay. Right. <laughs> so you you immediately notice that um, this place, well, it's old as hell, it's decrepit, but someone has definitely been in here. You can see mm. in the dust on the ground, there are still footprints, subtle footprints here and there. Additionally, scattered in between the footprints are twigs and leaves. I remember these twigs and leaves. Professor had me fetch them oh. that one day. Really? For oh, what? Really? I don't know. I still you don't know. Mm. Uh, I did figure it out, huh? I did not sell any cookies. Maybe in another world. But... <laughs> no cookies. <laughs> I don't know. I see footsteps, uh, uh, footprints. I feel like we should go follow it. Maybe it's the professors. What do you guys think? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. What's the, the footprints? What's the lighting in this area? It's dim, but there's some flickering lights of electricity um, from lamps in the ceiling that are just barely working. Mm -hmm. So flickering Roger. lights. Mm. Well, everyone, uh, be careful. It's a little weird here, but hopefully nothing too dangerous. And slowly make our way down the hallway. All right. You guys make your way down the hallway further and further. And the hallway seems to stretch on for forever. Oh, there we go. Until finally, Scott doesn't like this. <laughs> finally, you roll up to a little area here. Now, let me see. Is this the music that I like? Nope, that's not it. Is it this one? Nope. Um, that's okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so. You find that you are in something, some sort of... It feels like it's becoming more and more like a lab the further oh. that you go in. Like, not just a research lab, but something something horrific. Something like like out of a horror game or something like that. It's Oh, no! It's spooky. Uh, the walls aren't just rusted. You, you can't no. tell if it's rust or blood. No. Oh, no! Stinky. Something smeared. Scout's like getting jittery. Would you like uh, to touch the walls? No. 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 Scout's That's getting how you get weird infections. My toto sniff. All right. Um, <laughs> you smell iron. No! Scout, yeah. perception roll, please. All right. <laughs> What's your perception? I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Wits plus, what is it? Uh, composure. Composure. That's a four. Scout rules with two successes and then one reroll. All right, with two successes, um, what are you choosing to to see? What do you want to focus on in particular here, Scout? The walls. Okay. Looking for looking for teeth. I'm looking for anything. I'm looking for right. anything that could be just like the 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 living tunnel that I got stuck in. All right. So you look closely at the nuts and bolts in the wall, and they seem. <sighs> To quiver ever so slightly. <gasps> Almost as though they're alive. What? Almost as though I got a there's some bad like feeling it. about this. I think we should go back. Mm. Or are we too late? Do we, do we want to call out for the doc? Maybe. I mean, What's his the name? Hall is Dr. Oopsie. Dr. <laughs> Oopsie, Anna! You Hello. call out. It echoes through the halls. Dr. Oopsie! Dr. Oopsie! Dr. Oopsie! <laughs> In response, you just hear a low grumbling noise from the walls. Uh, can I check if there's signal on my phone? Sure thing. You look at your phone, and it appears that the reception, it doesn't look very good. I mean, uh, I guess I can still try to call Dr. Oopsie. All right. You attempt to give Dr. Oopsie a call. And interestingly enough, it does manage to go through, but only for a <gasps> moment. Oh. Dr. Oopsie? Can, can you hear? Can you hear? 
Can you hear me? Dr. Hello? Oopsie? Hello? Hello? Can you, can you, can you hear? Hello? Dr. Hello? Oopsie, I think we're on the way, but I'm not sure if we're just, this is the way, it's like a weird hallway with some blood looking things on the wall. Am I, am I going the right way? He I'm on speaker. He won't hurt you. <gasps> he won't hurt you. He's on our oh. side. No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, He's on our side now. My Toto can go first. Okay. Oh, so brave. All right. So well, we're out. we're on our way. I think we'll be there soon, hopefully. And just like that, Doctor Oopsie's voice is gone. <sighs> it feels as though it's being sucked into the darkness. <sighs> Before you, well, the dark oh. hall stretches onward and onward, and you can't see anything about 10 feet ahead of you. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you advance? I told you jog. <laughs> All right, let's, let's I guess we're let's advancing. Keep going. Right. Follow Watoto. All right. You guys follow Watoto down the long, dark, ever stretching onward hallway. It seems as though it has no end. Until finally you arrive at what looks to be some kind of, well, it looks like a very large, heavily plated door. Huh. The outlines of it seem to almost wiggle as though dimensions are being changed and warped cool. around them. Interesting. Should, should I Do knock? we knock? Yeah. Uh, knock. <laughs> okay. You knock. No answer. <laughs> Thought so. This guy. <laughs> Is there a lock on it? Perception check. All right, sure thing. What's your perception? Mine's really bad. Free. Okay. You never know. Uh, no success. Obi wins. It's too well, dark. Okay, I'll I'll do perception. I'll see <laughs> if there's anything. You'll see. <gasps> I'll find me. All right. It's Yours a, is six. Seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, okay. It's my cousin, ah. you'll see everything. Stop with these freaking... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you is too powerful. <laughs> Alright, five successes is a critical success. Um, you see that the door has Whoa. a large wait, metal six? wheel. No, oh, wait, never mind, that's five. Never mind, I can't count. Okay, you go. go ahead. It's fine, yeah, five successes. So you see... You see that... Wait, maybe it is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. It's six. It's six! Oh, I was right! <laughs> I can right. count! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's a critical success either way. You see that the door has a large wheel, an iron wheel, uh, stuck to it. And it's not particularly rusty. It looks that with oh. the proper amount of strength, you would be able to turn it. And it looks like it's the only mechanism on the door. All right. Oh. It's got no windows uh, though, so strength? you don't know what lies ahead. Remember, lefty Lucy, righty tidy. Wait, wait, turn it left. Right. I, I have big strength and okay. activity. I wanna uh, 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 athletics. <sighs> okay. I have physical activity. It's uh, gonna be strength. Six. It's gonna be strength yeah, plus athletics. I have that. Yeah, that's six for me. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. Tiara, you grab Rough. the wheel firmly with both of your hands and pull. Mm. Unfortunately, <gasps> it sticks fast, and it looks as though Wait, someone's going to need to help you. <gasps> Someone is going to need to assist you. Okay, okay. I can help. Okay. Hey, Rupu. All right, you keep turning, uh, Tiara, and Scout joins you on the door. Uh, Scout, Ooh, what is your strength plus uh, athletic? Uh, not athletics. Uh, yes, athletics. Strength plus athletics. Three. All right. It's not much. <laughs> All right. Woohoo! Together we strong! Yes, the two of you manage... Nice! Uh, manage quite nicely to make some progress on the door. Um, Tiara, at first, you know, you kind of pull, and then Scout grabs two of the, the handles on the wheel. It's kind of like a pirate ship handle. Um, mm -hmm. and, and she pulls down, and then suddenly it gets unstuck and begins to turn in the correct direction ever so slowly and... The most awful screeching noise rings out through the hallway. Ah. <laughs> Very pleasant, Anna. Yeah, it it really oh, is my ears. quite painful on your ears. 
Oh yeah, I loosened it. <laughs> All right. You loosened it. And finally, the door opens. Do you enter the room? Yes. I love that screeching sure. emote, man, that you got. <laughs> it's, so it's so good. <laughs> the screeching emote. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> and very slowly but surely, you enter into the dark room. So this one's really dark. This one, interestingly enough, is not as dark as the hallway that you were just in. In oh, fact, okay. there are green lights emanating from several areas in the room. The room is quite wide. Ooh. And you uh. begin to hear the sound of something. A being. A large oh. being within the room. Boom. Which Boom. supposedly it, it shouldn't too, hurt too loud. us. <laughs> a being? Some kind of entity. It's a boss fight. Roll <laughs> perception. I'll roll seven. Okay. Surely. Unless... I'm God damn it. Every oh my. Time. <laughs> that MVP. luck runs out, you. <laughs> that luck runs out. I'm telling you. It with does sometimes. Successes, Can I do something with my danger <laughs> sense? Sure. Um, well, see, with your danger sense, I would have, I would have let you know if it was truly dangerous, right? Hmm. So you're okay for now. Okay. Okay. But Yul is used to working in the dark. That's why I see very well in the dark. <laughs> Suddenly, you see before you, behind a glass, there is something mm. alien. Hmm. Something you've never seen before. Oh. It looks something like <gasps> uh well, it's it's very long. It's got Please some longer no parts Metroid on its body. Prime. Uh. Almost as though it has multiple limbs? No. Couldn't be limbs. You it must be it must be necks? Necks? necks. Could the neck. <laughs> Several Watoto <gasps> put hand on glass. <gasps> Watoto, you put the hand on the glass, and suddenly a long tentacle presses against your hand, and you <gasps> feel a connection. <gasps> it's the worm! The it wire! It's like a tentacle. Oh. Big worm? Something long. And you hear a guttural noise, as though someone... Well, to you, Watoto, it just sounds like a greeting. But to the others, it sounds horrific. It sounds like the worst sound you've ever heard. What GM is that is, thing? Is, is this an animal? You can't tell. Can I do animal can? <laughs> <laughs> Conversation right. attempt. You d all right, you may do Animal Ken plus Expression. All right, that is a four. Okay. Can it hear you through the glass? <laughs> all right, well, with we'll one success, see. you are able to determine that this is not an animal. Uh, mm. This is something... Hey, what is see, a animals animals have some some level of consciousness to them. This thing... This thing is... It has no no conscience. Did mm. we hear the last conversation you had with Dr. Oopsie on the phone? Was that on speaker or was that not? Yeah, I'd assume you guys uh, all heard it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it was on speaker okay. then. Because you remember you said that it, it, it don't worry, it he won't hurt you. It won't mm -hmm. hurt you. So this thing, whatever it is, is not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what he said, but, you know, with experiments Wait, so... like this, you never know how, how it can go wrong. True. I mean, it says it doesn't... Since since talking to the animal doesn't count, it doesn't have its own... thought. Can okay, yeah, what to ask? Well, you want to attempt to speak to the creature? Mm-hmm. Okay. Watoto, you will need to roll your expression plus socialize plus two. I don't have any. <laughs> you have zero for both of those? 
Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, you still get three. Well, plus two, bonus. right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Talk, Kwato, the talk. With two successes, <gasps> Kwato, oh. you are able to somewhat make sense, somewhat, of what it's saying to you. Only Watoto can hear this, however. Watoto uh, hears... Well, first, it doesn't just speak to you. It wants you oh. to speak first, Watoto. What do you say to him? Big, long worm. Are you dangerous? It is almost time, Watoto. <gasps> time for what? Time for the reckoning. Your reckoning. What the re <gasps> The worm said it's time for reckoning. What does that Re mean, Adele? What does that mean? Kind of, what? What is reckoning, worm? <laughs> <laughs> I will finally receive the present that I have been promised. The worm is the gonna doctor. get a present. Oh, like Christmas time, Ada? I don't think it's Christmas yet. What okay. kind? What? What's the present? <laughs> you oh, are what a kind part of, of this plan, Watoto. You are a part of this plan. Watoto's oh. the present. <laughs> what? Uh, no. <laughs> no, Watoto no. is not the present. <laughs> You're a present you, for me. You, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of whole. We sorry. flustered it. <laughs> <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> Hang on, let me take a sip of coffee. Hold on. Oh, okay. oh just, didn't the doctor say that he found a way or so to save the world, or am I mixing up things, Ada? You are correct. No, no you're right. No, you're right. This, you this thing that. is supposed to save the world? Maybe ask like... I don't know. Uh, oh. Can we look around to see if there's any, like, signs of Dr. Oopsie or anything? Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Uh, one, one of you guys can roll a perception check, one of you other members. Uh, darn. Um, you already used yours. You <laughs> darn. You already used yours. Oh. Shame. <laughs> Scott, how about you? How how well is your perception? Is that wit's dexterity or wit's It's wit's, wit's plus composure. That's a four. Okay. Oh, better than me. Good. I'll take a look around. All right. With one success, you notice that there's one other door in this room. Oh. Oh. And there is a bright light coming from the window. It is approximately near the end of the large capsule. Um, but what you realize um, is that there's there's something strange going on here. The window in front of you, you realize it actually might not be a container. Mm -hmm. It might actually what? just be a window. A window? Hmm, what? Uh, how's it, how can, we, can we look beyond what the, what the, where the worm is to like where it is? Um, the glass is very fog, fogged up. Oh, uh, okay. You can only well, see a basic shape. I guess we can walk towards the door, because we still got a contact Dr. Oopsie. Right. Yeah, where is he? Where is that guy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we, we have not we found walk the doctor. towards the door. Okay. Now, you're, jiggle, going to need, you're going to need to roll another strength check to open it, because this one also has a similar lock, or a similar uh. thing. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> All right. Would you like to roll to assist? Uh, first of all, Scout. Uh, uh, if 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 she needs it. All right. Mm -hmm. There is a way that you can assist she in this. So, Scout, what is your initial roll? What is your roll for strength plus uh, athletics? Uh, three. Okay. All right. With one success, that adds one dice to Tiara's pool. Noise. Nice. Okay. So seven now, now. Now you have seven dice. Oh. Come on. Ooh. Surely. Uh, oh, yeah. So big. Finally. Yeah. Just nice. All right. So with the combined power of you two ladies, extremely strong muscles, um, <laughs> Scout, you kind of you kind of uh, bring up the the bottom part, and Tiara, you grab from the top and pull, and once again you hear that terrible screeching noise. Um, yeah. And Is as it one? screeches, you hear a horrific roar coming from from the inside of that room as the door itself almost kind of forces itself to be pushed open. Mm. And it opens up to you. Mm. Uh, uh. And we see... And you see... I don't want to see. 
We see something horrific. No. Oh. Uh, a, a sight that you never thought that you would see in your life. Roll of perception. My graduation papers. <laughs> but, um, That's perception, yes, there. seven. All right. Can you can, you're allowed to it? roll Yule because this is a new room. One success. One success. Oh. Um, it's big. Dr. Oopsie is there. It's big. <laughs> it's real big, and Dr. Oopsie is there. Oh. You see, in this room, you suddenly realize why that window that you saw before wasn't a window after all, or wasn't a capsule after all, no container, because this creature, the big, large thing behind the window, is not contained at all, but rather is free, still in some chains, but otherwise mm. free and out in the open. A horrific creature that you've never seen before. This, what is this? Oh. Could this be, oh. could this be the worm? Oh. You see Wait, it's a thing? three heads, three heads on this large being that is chained to the ceiling. And before the creature stands a familiar being, Yule, it is Dr. Dr. Uzi. Doctor? Wait, 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 logic uh, will check because I don't understand. We saw one being first behind some window and now we see another one behind the door. Which one is the one on the picture? They're is both the same. same one? It's the same yeah. one. Yeah. It's like uh -huh. a, the, the window was like a giant room. It was not like a like oh, a container. It's like a it's like a window. Room? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Giant okay. room. Oh. oh yes. <sighs> yes, with this large being before you with bright green eyes and an unknown substance dripping from the mouth. This doesn't look like something that could save the world, Ada. What the hell? We should get out of here. Doctor, Looks like explain. Job the hut. When you say this, Tiara, as soon as you speak, Dr. Oopsie turns around. Previously, she had been standing before the being with her, uh, with her arms spread open as though speaking to it. She turns around and you notice that she has one of those masks on her face, one of those gas <gasps> masks. Da da da. <laughs> That's right. She looks at you and begins to speak with a sort of fervor that only a mad woman would speak with. I have done it. I have found a way to appease the beast, Yule. <laughs> appease? What have you done? This being, it's been creeping into our society. It wants chaos, it wants destruction, but I have befriended it. I have befriended While you're talking, the creature. I'm taking steps back and, and uh, getting my sniper rifle ready. Okay. <clears throat> take some shots at the, yeah, the space Just in bug. case. Just keep on talking, keep on talking. Okay. <laughs> I have created what this thing wants. A world to take over. A pocket dimension, Yule. I was creating a fantastic place. A world that this thing could be god of. Don't you see how brilliant it is? H how? It's quite simple, really. I figured out how to copy the dimension that is known as the Hedge and create an even larger world for this thing to govern. And therefore, he will stop coming after this world. Isn't it fantastic? Sounds good. However, there's something missing. There's something missing, what's you. Missing? What, what's missing? Humans to govern. <laughs> <gasps> All of a sudden, you guys begin to feel very strange. All of you. Can I? No. Your your hearts begin to race as you feel your skin oh crawl. And uh, you realize that there's something fishy about this room. Dr. Poopsie, what have you done? <laughs> I'm saving the universe. Can I t try to take a shot? Sure, go ahead. At the Dr. Oopsie's head? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah, sure. Shot. All right, so you, you may roll. <laughs> 
firearms plus dexterity. Ah. What, what does the bow bowl and snips and Chad the sniper have like extra, you know, yes. something special? It has Ooh. plus two. Ooh. Okay. So firearms and dexterity. Yes. Uh, okay. What's gunslinger again? A gunslinger. Oh boy. I have that some like. <laughs> oh there. boy, gunslinger. Let's see. Perfect I'm shot. all in favor of this, but what if it ends up making the beast angry? And then I'll take the beast up next. <laughs> oh, gunslinger oh, okay. means you can fire two pistols can we aim at the for same the... time. Ah, pistol. can we... okay. pistols. Can we? Can we? Can you aim for the mask? Maybe the mask is yeah. making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know... I'll take a yeah, headshot. Yeah, yeah. So I'll go for the mask. But okay, well, sorry. One more question. Uh, the, all these things, the Marriotts, they seem... Uh, it's been a long time. Are they maybe useful? I have subduing strikes loaded okay. for bear and human prey. Is any of this useful? Oh my God. Let's see. <laughs> uh, I don't think so loaded for bear is going to be useful here, but let me check. How close am I to Dr. Oopsie? Let's see. I got uh, a broom. No, it does not I apply here. <laughs> Wacker. Okay. Yeah, these merits, those merits do not apply, sadly. Damn it. Okay, okay. well then I'll, I'll just take a shot with the plus two and the uh, uh, firearms is four. Okay. Plus dexterity two. So six plus uh -huh. two is eight. It's an eight roll. Okay. Really? <laughs> with two successes. Two, ten, better than eight. Okay, wow. Oh. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so. You manage to aim a shot directly at Dr. Oopsie's mask, and you fire. Pshum! It whistles through the air, and eventually reaches. It connects with the mask, and the mask explodes off, to Dr. Oopsie, <gasps> off of Dr. Oopsie's face. Easy! Into G -G. many pieces. However, <laughs> you do also manage to lodge the bullet directly into Dr. Oopsie's cheek. That's all right. Uh -huh. I mean, she takes three lethal damage and falls to the ground. <laughs> That's okay. She Doctor. is now unconscious. I'm no. happy with this result. I need to finish my paper. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> All of you at You're this free. moment hear a mighty roar inside of your minds, inside of your yeah. own brains. The being says, uh... It's too late. Come to me, my children. <laughs> you will inhabit my world. No, I refuse, Anna. All right, everybody, I'm going to need you to roll a composure check. Composure. Just composure? Straight composure. Uh, four. Ooh. All right. Oh, no. We'll start with Yule. With one success. All right, you get one success. All right. You start to feel yourself slipping in between dimensions, Yule. Oh no. But uh. you at least are able to recognize what is happening to you. And that's when you realize that Dr. Oopsie has already done it. In fact, the door itself. You notice something kind of strange about that door as you fall to the ground. You fall to your knees and then manage to glance over at the door that you entered through. And you realize that opening that door triggered some kind of mechanism. Oh. A mechanism that started a large machine. The what? room is a machine. Oh. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right, Scout, roll your composure. Two! And oh, a prune. No. Oh boy. Scout, uh, you fall to the ground and you slip away. Goodbye. No, mm -hmm. Scout! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tiara, what is your composure? Two. All right, one success. You two <laughs> also begin to slip, but you are able to recognize that you are passing through dimensions. Oh. Watoto. What's uh, your three. composure? Three. All right. Oh my lord. <gasps> oh. All right. Oh. With two successes, Watoto, you watch your friends fall to the ground. Um, and you, you watch their bodies kind of... It's odd. It looks as though they're kind of fizzling out of existence. They are leaving this no. realm. And now no. it's just you and the large being in front of you, the enigmatic dark shadow, 
looks directly at you with the beaming green eyes, still drooling. My child, <laughs> you must join them. You have a mission. No, I will save them. <laughs> you do that, Watoto, but in the end, chaos will reign forever. Want to make a trade? Oh, another <laughs> trade? <laughs> Before you know it, you two are now passing through the dimensions, Watoto, but not in the same way as the others. Uh, this time, you know, you travel very easily. <laughs> Their traveling is very painful, but it's not so difficult for you. And just no, like that, I... you guys begin traveling through the in-between. <gasps> For a uh, moment. Another dimension. Oh, no. You see a light on the horizon as you feel your bodies traveling at speeds that you didn't know were possible for humanity. A hundred miles per hour. No, a thousand. No, one million miles per hour through eternity and past dimensions. You feel your bodies becoming rended. And just like rended. that, when you open We're your dead. eyes, no. <laughs> you find yourselves in, well, not really that scary of a place at all, just a bit strange, a forest. Oh. A large forest. Yeah, 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 that sound. <laughs> it's purple and blue and seems to be seems to be full of bugs that don't seem generated by this wor by the human world. Well, flowers and things that you've never quite encountered before. Where are we? Does Scout wake up or is Scout still asleep? Oh, you wake up. All of you slowly begin to come to your senses. Where's the, oh, nice. the beast? Gone. Not in this dimension. From what mm. you can tell, you don't sense the beast, Watoto. Mm -hmm. You are alone in this tranquil yet eerie forest. And interestingly enough, Dr. Oopsie is also there on the ground, still passed out. <laughs> Got him. Oh. Now can I hit him with my broom? <laughs> Do you choose to whack Dr. Oopsie with the broom? You can wake up Dr. Oopsie up with the broom. I'm going to awaken Dr. Oopsie with my broom that I stole from Vic. All right. Where are you keeping that thing? Uh, it's in my... holster. Yeah. <laughs> broom holster? <laughs> my blacksmith hol holster. Yeah. The same one as the pickaxe. It, it's a little hard to walk, <laughs> yeah. but it works. Just stick it in there, you know? <laughs> yeah. My All right. Pants. I'll go ahead and have you roll. Um, let's have you do um, a weapon, a strength and weapon recheck. I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to beat beat this person. I'm just, you know, <laughs> poke, poke, poke. accuracy. Uh, weaponry is one, two, three, four. Strength is three, seven. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wakey, wakey! Quite a five doctor who was beating. A mini beating right like there. Something. No, I'm not trying to beat him. I'm trying to wake. All right. Well, with two Awaken. successes, you you go ahead and accomplish your goal, but you you kind of, you know, since you're you're trying to do it softly, but you know, because it's just it's only two successes, you kind of you kind of whack the shit out of her, um, and she does take <laughs> a couple bludgeoning. Um, Sorry. She coughs up a bit of blood. <coughs> Oh, I didn't hit you that hard. Come on. Well, you don't think the blood is the in blood the face. <laughs> She did get shot in the face, so. There's oh, I that. forgot. Yeah. Oopsie. It's cool. You didn't do that. Somebody else did. Well, <laughs> I had to free him from the mask, and I did that. Dr. Right. Oopsie, are you okay? <sighs> Wake up. Ah, <sighs> uh, Yule. I have. I have failed you. I'm so sorry. I get an F? <laughs> no. You were always my best student. I just... I thought I was doing what's right. I thought I could create a world to... To make... To make him happy. To make him leave ours alone, but... But I don't think... I think he's going to take both now. Uh, 
I mean, where are we? Do you know where we are or how to get out of here? Is there a way? Not, I didn't create a way out. But, great, it doesn't matter. He's on his way anyway. (laughs) He? (laughs) Dumbass. He's on his way. Who he? The new creator, god of this world. I suppose technically I am the god of this world because I created it, but he will be its new ruler. And now, with you humans here, he has beings to torture and play with. Oh, shit, whoops. (laughs) Track change. Beings to torture and play with. All of you, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to get you out of here. Mm. Well, we'll find a way out, Ada. I mean, always you, do. you created this world, right? What did... What? How? Like, some sort of... Is it like a material world? Is it a digital world? Simulation. I don't know. Is it a simulation? Something? It's another dimension. Similar to the hedge. Have you been to the hedge before? Yes, Hala. Possibly. Yes. Possibly. I... I created a special technology that could copy the hedge. I copied it and made some modifications of my own. But... There are no humans in here except for you. Couldn't you also add... Humans or other creatures? I thought... Because you four are... Strong, you could keep the beast entertained for a long time. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dr. My you always in my said right to... Mind. <laughs> always said to... You know, plan for... Multiple possibilities <laughs> in every experiment. I can't believe... You went against your philosophy. Like I said, I wasn't in my right mind. I Maybe another everything. whack with my broom, you'll be in your right mind. You can help mm. us get out of here. I suppose I deserve that. No. Not if you help us. I'm not I sure. Mean, is I mean, is it is it impossible to create or copy humans, etc. Uh, to take place in this world? You know, I pondered that, but... It didn't seem possible. I... I suppose if we did manage to get out of here, we could... We could try to... To copy yourselves over, but... But what if those copies have their own consciousness? Then we'd be dooming them to hell forever. Mm -hmm. (gasps) Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like there's a clean-cut way out of this. We must kill... Kill... The worm. The worm? But that's impossible. Yeah. It's it can't be killed. It's a it's a being of eternity. A three-headed oh. beast that cannot be quelled. Oh. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll make Can it work. Can we steal it? <laughs> that could be possible. The big worm? If we I suppose if we did manage to lead it into this world, I mean, it is on the way after all. Ah. Oh. If we found a way to escape, perhaps we could exit in time to destroy the dimension with the worm in it. Mm-mm. How big is the worm? Yeah. I thought this thing was huge. How are we going to sneak out with a big giant worm? Yeah, I mean, the big worm the will hole. be stuck here, and we're the we small need to find one. The wormhole. <laughs> the wormhole. Truth mm. be told, the being that you saw in the lab was merely a servant of the worm. Ah. Uh, oh. A corporeal being, a, a copy, so to speak, of its body. Mm. See, the worm is is more than just it's more than just a material monster in the world. It's like I said, a creature of eternity. Mm. We can't truly kill it, but perhaps perhaps we can seal it. And as soon as Dr. Oopsie says that, suddenly, you sense a strange glitch in this dimension. Everything flashes red for a moment. And you hear (laughs) a large, booming voice come out. (gasps) 
It is time. Huh. That's not quite what I wanted. This is the one I wanted. <laughs> there. Come out to where? It is time. It's time. Time to, to play, humans. Hmm. This world. This world looks like shit. Why is it so beautiful? <laughs> I can change that. Oh no. Is it just weird? That's not like Vic. That. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I can change that. <laughs> There's a little, little deeper for you. Are you ready to run, oh. my children? Yes. Let chaos ensue. <laughs> Okay, it's a what? bit hard to understand. <laughs> <laughs> what okay, just sound like Vic. <laughs> Let chaos ensue. Ah, what? chaos ensuing. Okay, okay, okay. Let Ka chaos what? reign forever. Yay! Thanks for repeating that big word. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I hope you all are ready to meet one of my humble servants who will help me Not in terraforming this world. What, what happens if we're not ready? Well, the 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 voice does not respond to you oh. after that, and suddenly, before you know it, you see a large being <gasps> appear in front of you. Slender suddenly, name. the world <laughs> the world begins <laughs> to change around you. It begins to lose its color. In some areas, a deadly red. In other areas, completely monochrome, and a dense fog oh. permeates. <gasps> the flora and fauna begins to die off at a rapid pace, and suddenly there is nothing left but desolation, and a large figure looming in the distance with two hands, and then a third hand, mm. a hook hand. <gasps> it's, it's... The hash slinging slasher. Mm. <laughs> Kind oh, of correct. Okay. <gasps> kind of correct. And uh, just like that, you guys realize that you are being slowly tailed, but not before you witness a sight most horrific. Dr. Oopsie, looking up at the large being, drops to her knees and says, Please, spare us! We've made a mistake! My liege, if this world is not to your liking, I can make a better one! Oh. Just please let us out. Oh, he's gonna die. She's gonna die. And Dr. Oopsie. you watch as a large booming voice says, You may dispose of her. Dr. Oopsie, no! no! And before you can do anything, a large hook penetrates <gasps> the center of Dr. Oopsie's heart and raises her up to the sky as she vomits blood. The blood spatters beneath her, making a ah. most sickening noise. Eww. Before, the hook drags Dr. Oops. Sorry, every time I say Dr. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> drags the doctor. Drags the doctor toward its face. You hear a horrific crunching noise, but you can see nothing. <sighs> the sound of bones cracking and flesh being consumed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the figure begins to advance towards you. I think we should run. What do you choose to do? Are we gonna find do? a way out? Watoto will flip over rocks to look for a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, <laughs> Alright. Roll perception. What's your is that your turn? You guys get one turn to do something. Oh. What do you guys want to do? Do we get a perception Bye. roll, or does that not count? Uh, it'll count as your turn. Oh no. Damn, okay. I wanna fight. You wanna fight the being? Oh yeah, I wanna shoot. Alright. You may take a shot. Um... Will you my... use your 8d10? Yeah, my snipey. Alright. <gasps> With two successes, you manage to hit a shot what, what appears to be the neck of the creature, and it gives you no response. It does not it, seem as oh. though it has been hurt or damaged in any way. Okay. Mm, maybe we should... Uh, can I... See... Can I look around to see if there's any way to escape? 
All right, sure. That will be your turn. Okay. Perception big. All right. Seven. Three successes. Yeah. <sighs> okay. All right. With three successes, you do see that there are some some brambles, a bush nearby um, that leads very far down, and you think that the being might be impeded having to walk down so many rocks down the cliff. You realize that you may be able to outrun this thing if you have the appropriate athletics role. <laughs> Everyone, look, there's a, there's a way out of here. Maybe, really? maybe we can outrun whatever is chasing us. Uh, sure. Well, I can probably outrun it. Don't know about you guys. <laughs> I definitely I mean, cannot. I mean, it's worth a try for everyone. I think. Okay. Maybe actually may maybe not worm be. Worm won't attack Watoto, so Watoto will flip rocks. <laughs> uh, All right. I. I. I roll the running thingy, but right. I while Watoto is looking at the rocks, I pick Watoto up and take Watoto with me. <laughs> you take Watoto with you? Well, I kind of no. like grab his hands and drag him along. <laughs> okay. Watoto! No rocky time! You may do that, but it'll be a minus one. Okay. Oh, no. All right. Uh, so what's your athletics plus dexterity? Uh, Six. All right. Six, ten, eleven, eight. All right. <laughs> we gotta go, Watoto. We gotta go. All right. With two successes, you just barely manage to skip over mm. to the cliff, and you move quickly <sighs> around the rocks, um, and are able to make it a decent way down, but not quite all the way just yet. We'll need Scout and Yule to roll their athletics and dexterity, or find another way to scale the cliff. Uh. I only have a three. I don't know if it'll be worth it. All right. Remember, you may use Wait. any items if you can think about how to use them creatively. Mm -hmm. I mean, I only have... I mean... Uh, could I possibly use the water bottle to, like... How, how far is the... the, the <laughs> it's slippery ten feet away. what? <laughs> huh? Ten feet away from you. Ten feet? Do you think I could, like... Toss the water bottle and then like turn on the taser and then like throw it as well so I could try to like electrocute it and <laughs> that could work it somehow. That could work, but okay. you will need to you will need to have a good six a good level of success with that. In order to do this, <sighs> you will need to use your you will need to use your dexterity and wits. Oh, that's six. Okay. okay. I think that's more worth it than my running. Okay. <laughs> With three successes, okay, you manage to... You don't really know if it's doing any damage to the being, to this this warped version of the, the hook of the worm's world. Um, you don't really know, but you do notice that you have managed to stop it. It doesn't okay. make any noise. It doesn't... It doesn't um, fall to its knees, but it does stop for a moment, which gives you enough time to to run. Nice. So both you and Scout, you may add mm. plus two to your athletics dexterity roll. Nice. Okay, so that's a, that's a five. Okay, we'll start with Yule. <sighs> Watoto okay. is looking at me menacingly for not letting him look at the rocks. <laughs> I don't want to flip rocks. <laughs> no All rocks, right. no, no. <laughs> with two successes, no danger. Uh, you do manage to get to where... Um, to where Tiara and Watoto are. Now, okay. what, well, how about you, Scout? Athletics and Dexterity plus two. Um, Athletics, Dexterity plus two, so that would be... That would be four, but I have my broom. Is there a way I can, like, while I'm running, wedge it into the ground and use it to, like, launch forward like an extra ball? bit? A little bit, yeah, oh. just to get myself. I'll take the whatever right. damage I get for falling down, but... Okay. That is going to give you two bashing, or two bludgeoning, excuse me, two bludgeoning damage, which is fine. There's just two slashes, so. All right. Um, then I'll I'll give you, I will give you a plus one. Does iron stamina merit affect this at all, or no? No, I would not say so, here. Okay, so that'd yeah. be a five, then, with my broom. Five, with your broom. Okay. Thank you, Vic. Thank you, Vic. <laughs> Woo! 
Woohoo! All right, so that's one success. Oh. Two successes. All right, so the whole team is nice. caught up together down the cliff, scaling down the rocks, and thankfully, because of Yule's trap, um, it would appear that um, the being is just kind of, you know, leaning over the cliff, watching you go, um, almost as if to taunt you. The, the warped version of the hook, the worm hook, if you will, holds up the dastardly hook with Dr. Oopsie's body still hanging <gasps> off of it. Ew. Dr. Oopsie. Uh... Can I do something? What would you like to do? Uh, I, I, I don't remember where I got it from, but I have this enchanted mirror, right? I don't know what it, how it works, but maybe can I like do something with it? <laughs> um, maybe point it at the monster or knock on the mirror. I don't know, ask the mirror, look at the mirror. <laughs> do you want to talk to the mirror? Mm, I wanna, I wanna do a pers but is that one? One round, if I just do one thing with the mirror? Correct. The rest of the team will mm. proceed down the cliff. So you can use it or you can get to safety first. It's up to you. Uh, but, but we're, we're past the cliff, right? So like, yes. it would catch up with me if I do something else but but running? Correct. Hmm. And Watoto distract the being? Sure. What would you like to do, Watoto? <laughs> Dance. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Watoto throws. Uh, I want to throw my Molotov cocktail. Okay, go nice. ahead and roll for me your dexterity and let's see. Dex. We'll, we'll do uh, dex and weaponry for this one. Where's to know how to see. throw the Molotov cocktail. Uh, I only have two dexterity and no weaponry, but I have survival luck. Survival luck. That sounds good. Okay. Can I take the take the Molotov and throw it for Watoto? <laughs> sure. That okay, is then I just do crafting of the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So you want to do crafting? Yeah. Have you actually so you haven't made the Molotov yet, correct? Oh, oh well I have the alcohol and then we have the match. Alright. And we just need plots, so, so first you must do a crafting dexterity or crafting wits, excuse me. Wits crafting. Okay, uh, it's five and I have alchemy. Okay. Let's see. Um, hold on a sec. You know what? It's the finale. I'm gonna let you use alchemy. Mm -hmm. okay. Zero successes. Um, the <laughs> Molotov cocktail will not work. It will no, not light up. You don't know no. what you did, but it's a dumb of this. It's not gonna work. Oh, Sadly. No. Yeah, you, you try and get it to light, but it just won't work. You don't know if it's something about the air or something about your crafting, but it looks like this one's a dud. Hmm. Uh. Well, um, I'll point. I don't. It might not do anything, but I'll maybe it will blind it. Hopefully, I'll point the mirror <laughs> at, okay. at the monster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it might be very pointless. Okay. Do you do it in any particular way to try and catch the light? Yes. Okay. Then I'm just gonna roll a one d10 for you, and we'll just see what happens. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> 1d10 to blind the... Uh, no, uh, nothing happens. You hold it up, you hold the mirror up to the beast who just kind of tilts its head to the side and proceeds down the cliff following you. <laughs> it was a valiant attempt. Mm. Could have been something. Um, you realize that the cliff is getting steeper and steeper and it seems as though it's leading into a dark ravine. Ah... Mm, uh... Should I take my pants off now, or should I wait? <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll help you? They usually come in handy somehow. Mm-hmm. Like a slingshot, you know, a sled. <laughs> I use it as like a, like, what, you know, like in Breath of the Wild, the, the flying Like a parachute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the glider, yeah. The glider. glider. Glider pants. Do you think it's scared of fire? You're not sure. It didn't seem Is to, it like, worth electricity. A shot it got stunned with the electricity. Hmm. But I, I no longer have water or, you know... I have matches. Anything I can reach. <laughs> you do have matches. Mm-hmm. You can flick matches at it. <laughs> you wanna, uh, you're gonna light your pants on fire and throw it? No, the matches! <laughs> we let flick them! 
Oh, I see. Gotcha. <laughs> Would you like to throw matches at the being? Can I throw one? Sure. Testing. <laughs> All right. Dexterity plus, let's do wits because it's in the heat of the moment. Wits and dex. Oh, oh dear. That's a four. Okay. Not too bad. Come it's on, like... man. Three successes. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> your aim is good enough that you do manage to to flick a match into the eye of this, this worm hook. Oh. Um, and you yeah. see one of the eyes go out and um, you do hear a large grumbling. You don't think that it particularly hurt the being, um, but he does he does uh, fall to the ground um, as though trying to, to nurse a wounded eye, which gives you guys more time to cascade down the cliff. All of you may roll athletics plus dexterity plus two, thanks to Scout's match. Eight for me. Okay. Uh, five for me. Okay. So we'll do, all right, eight and then five. Eight to 10, greater than eight. Mine's all right, you make two. it down the cliff, um, Tiara. Mm -hmm. 10 greater than eight. All right, one. Okay, um, Yule, you make it down the cliff. Next up, okay. Watoto, was it, what is it? Five. Five. Watoto, you make it down the cliff. Scout? No one. Uh, dexterity and and um, athletics. Wait. Oh, uh, plus dexterity two. Two, so two. Four. Yes. Okay. Okay. You make it down the cliff. All nice. of you have successfully escaped nice. from the beast. Yay! Yay! Flicking fire. Nice yeah. flick. Make do. Oh, nice so and quick escape. And. You do feel as though you have sufficiently gotten out of harm's way as you enter this dark ravine. Mm. It's very hard to see anything in here until you realize that there are some small beams of light off in the distance. Mm. Oh, walk towards it? Yes. Would you like no. to walk towards the light? Yes. Beam. Yes. Okay. You okay. walk ever so slowly towards the beaming light. And it seems as though no matter how far you walk, it doesn't get any closer. Oh, I point the enchanted mirror at the light. <laughs> you want to try and catch the light on the mirror? Yes. Ooh, take out its other eye. <laughs> I mean, we don't see the monster now, I think. Oh, I think my we bad. Ran away. Yeah. yeah. There's no immediate threats around you at the moment, thankfully. It's just you guys in this ravine full of light, and you can hear your own steps echo around you. It's almost as though you've entered a completely different plane of existence oh. within this Ooh. dimension. Oh. I still want to do the, the mirror thing. thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. So, go ahead and roll for me. Uh, once again, dexterity and wits to try and catch the light on the mirror. Oh, okay. Dexterity and wits this time. Mm -hmm. mm, that is... Uh, uh, free! Okay. This mirror must be good for right. something. All right. Two successes. Ooh. Right. So as you hold the mirror... Um, and try to have it catch the light. Once you do, for just a moment, uh, catch it on some some ray of light, um, you realize that you're hearing an internal voice oh. inside of your mind, but the voice itself isn't saying hmm. anything in particular. Rather, it's a question that just comes to your mind. Where do you want to go? Oh. Home. Home. Home? Do you home. think of home? Yes. I think of home. All right. To my sister. Yeah. Or back in time to before. Or... No, okay. Just home. <laughs> <Back in> time. <laughs> time traveling antics in my world of darkness. I don't think so. <laughs> um, so, um, Tiara, since you're the one that is kind of hearing this um, in your in your own mind's mind's eye, um, mm. you think I shall share it. Oh, you want to tell everybody what's going on? Yeah, so I just, I, you know, I did the thing, and um, I, I heard a voice in my head asking me where I want to go, Ara. Oh. 
Mm. I don't know if I'm going crazy at that, but maybe we, I should answer. What would you answer? Home. <laughs> home? We'll try it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, as the light catches onto the mirror, you see what is a very faint, faint vision of mm. uh, the city streets outside of the homestead bar. Oh. But it's very faint. It mm. doesn't seem as though the light around you is is sufficient enough. Oh. Mm. Do we have, mm. Mm, have more reflective things or so? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, Yule has her phone <laughs> with flashlight. I have, yeah, I have my phone. Can I use the phone as kind of a mirror? <laughs> sure, if you'd like to. You shine yes. the light onto the mirror. But it still just doesn't look like it's enough. It, in fact, it feels almost in, impossible. Would anyone like to roll a perception check, perhaps? Me! Do it, yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to roll a perception check all right. Counting on you. All right. All right. With two successes, um, what you're able to surmise from this mirror, Yule, is that this doesn't seem like the type of... See, the vision is extremely dull. It's blurry. It's out of focus. But you recognize the area. You get the mm. feeling that if there was a large flash, maybe, large just maybe, flash. something could be done here to make the vision How large of a flash? Focus. You don't know. You can't tell. Just a large flash. Mm. Oh. Can no. I take a picture with everyone? With my camera? <laughs> yeah. And turn the flash on? Memory! Yeah, sure, you can try. Okay. You guys okay. gather together for a picture? <laughs> sure. Okay. okay. You guys gather, and everybody's smiling. Um, everybody's smiling and you snap <laughs> um, you go ahead and turn you make sure that you turn on the flash because uh, that's very important and mm -hmm. you snap uh -huh. a photo ah. and just just for good measure you, you snap a couple more yeah <laughs> yeah you do many many okay. flashes and sadly it doesn't seem as though the mirror has been all that affected yeah, there you go <laughs> <laughs> Yule, something catches your eye. Hmm? Something about those pictures. See, pictures. you took a couple of them. However, the first couple, it's just all you guys in a casual, smiling pose together. And everything looks fine, except as the pictures go on, you realize <gasps> something strange. Something strange about Watoto. What? No. My child, so. it's time. No. No. It is what time the for your favor. What? Favor? Favor. Rut row. Your favor. Um, the time of favor? reckoning has come. What do you want from what? I want you to be my servant. Hmm. To do what? Give me your body, Watoto. <gasps> uh... I will take your body as my vessel, and <laughs> we will forever be one. Watoto will disappear? And then we kill Watoto. No, oh, that guy's... Watoto will live forever <gasps> with me as the governor Watoto. of this world. Uh, can hmm. Watoto flip rocks? No. <gasps> no, Watoto does not want. <laughs> you don't have a choice. No. Watoto? And just like that, Watoto, you feel <gasps> your your mental faculties slip away from you as your body and mind surrender to the worm, bound no. by the deal you made so long ago. What if we Watoto? cut off the hand? Yeah, I shoot him! Let's cut off the hat! I have a knife! Can I cut off what's No! <laughs> what the fuck? You're gonna cut off the head. Head. Just gonna kill him? Does that mean I, oh. I was thinking that might be a solution? 
to lose you, but I don't want to lose one. Look, disrupt the process. I'll smack him with the broom again. Yeah, disrupt smack. the process. Somebody you hit him. Throw him. Jump on him. You something. Might to disrupt the process, you watch as Watoto's body transforms before you into a being of destruction. No! Oh. What the fuck? Watoto's bones begin to break as Watoto's ah, arms ew. begin to change into something, something else. Well, but don't, Some kind does of Watoto ooh. act as, as this thing now, or do you control Watoto now? It's, it's, a, it's a contract. Therefore, Watoto may still try and get out of the grasp of the worm, but it will be very <gasps> difficult. Oh. Oh. I believe in Watoto. What if can we all aid in a role for power Watoto? Power of friendship. You want to use the power of friendship? Yes. Power of friendship. Well, since Watoto is now on the offensive and merged with the worm, um, whether whether Watoto likes it or not, I'm going to go ahead and put us in our our little, our new scene where we have some tokens. <gasps> oh. Oh. Dark Whoa. Oh. Evil Watoto. Yes. Does this work? With I some kind of this. parasite attached. Watoto will kill. <laughs> Watoto, no! Watoto, <laughs> you feel the inexplicable urge to kill all of your friends. Oh, no. Now, oh. everybody, for the first time in a million years, let's roll initiative. Oh, what's that? Oh. What's that? <laughs> so, in <laughs> so uh, initiative is on your sheet. You have an initiative mod. It determines the turn order. So, everybody will roll a one d ten plus uh, their oh, initiative there. mod. Ah, four. Four. Okay. Initiative. All right. One d ten plus four. It's under fourteen. Fall. Oh, okay. All right, so Minus. who? All right, so who just uh, gave the the plus four? Who is that? Me, Kiwawa. Okay. Kiwawa. T T Kiwawa. T <laughs> yeah. All right, Tiara. Yeah. All right, who is next? By initiative, mod is seven. Okay, plus seven. Twelve. Okay. Let's see. Was that Yule? Yes, that was Yule. Okay. You will. Twelve. Okay. Now, Scout, how about you? How do you? I don't have it written down. How do you get to your? Uh, it's on the. Lot? It's on your. Um, it's on your sheet. The slot. It does. It's not, I don't have it there. Yeah, let me look. I'll let me see. I'll look for you. Do you like add up? Scout, scout. All right. Uh, your initiative mod. Oh, it isn't there. Um. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Hold on. Math. How did we decide the initiative mod? Um, so you're number split. All right, it's dexterity plus composure. Mm. Uh, so, let's see. A Three four? Or two? Uh, two. All right, four. It's four. Mm. All right, so Scout is 13. Okay. So that hmm. is. We'll go second. All right. I don't want to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah? You don't want to hurt Watoto? Alright, Watoto I, I, must I, roll. Mm. But Watoto has plus three. <gasps> Can I yeah. to resist or something? Uh, plus three to for attacking. Plus three to all of your uh. offensive. Uh. Alright, what is your initiative mod? Um, It's three, but my numbers add up to five. Ah, uh, uh. gotcha. Okay. Then it should be five. And then plus three mm. for Worm. Fourteen. So you uh, and Tiara oh. are tied. <laughs> hey! Worm Rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> Tiara and... No, we roll a 1d10 and see see who's <laughs> higher. Maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah good <laughs> idea. All right. This one is for Worm Toto. <laughs> Five. Come on, oh. Tiara. All right. Worm, Worm Toto is before Tiara. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> is this really what you want? Worm Toto kill. Yeah. Worm no! Toto, no! Yes. What about our friendship? Yes, Worm Toto. You can feel... You can feel the worm is, is influencing everything that you see and feel, but part of you really wants to break free from this. So, every turn... Roll to resist. 
Oh. Every turn, you can roll a 1d10, and if you get a 9 or a 10, you can break free for that turn to take a different yeah. action than what the worm yeah. wants you to do. Okay. Ah, okay. Toto! So, Worm Toto, for your turn, let's have you roll a 1d10. Go, 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 go! And the 9. Cut That's off your own hand! All right. You what? surrender to the worm. <laughs> No. For, this, no. for this turn. <laughs> and this time, uh, the worm is going to move forward. Ooh. Uh -huh. so, taking a step forward will also be a turn. There's kind of a little graph before you. Okay. Moves closer. Next up, Tiara, what's your move? Does this thing have HP? It does, actually. Sorry, I forgot to show the health bar. Oh. <gasps> Okay, hold on. Interesting. I had to make a new one. Hold on. Mm. All right. Oh. Uh, this bar right here. Oh. I only only I know the exact numbers, but oh, okay. I will adjust it accordingly. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, I'll take a shot with my sniper rifle. Okay. Go ahead and Sorry, roll your firearms go. plus dex plus two. Uh. 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 uh wait. What? What? Firearms plus. Uh... Uh, plus two. Wait a second. I don't know. I was... Oh, I just noticed. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh never mind. Firearms, four plus six, uh, six plus two, it was eight. Okay. Oh. All right. Ten greater than eight. All right, one. Okay. Oh. Uh, you hit and you do one lethal damage. Uh, to Worm Toto. Uh, as okay. you see the worm recoil, you also see Watsoto is recoiling, uh, and mm. the pain of your friend is evident. Mm. Watoto. Watoto. How do you say Watoto? What the fuck? When you when you hit Watoto with the bullet, you can see for just a moment Watoto's eyes stop being red for half a second, no. but then become red once again. <laughs> Oh. Oh, but that was quite good damage, I see. Mm. Mm -hmm. How about okay. you, Scout? What do you choose to do? Uh, can I... I don't really have any distance weapons. I have a dagger. Can I launch a dagger at what? Uh, You'd like worm? to throw a dagger? I guess so. Okay. I'm gonna have you roll dexterity and weaponry then. Plus one for the dagger. <laughs> I have... I can't see it. I have like a... a, a phys something light... Light... A specialty in weaponry. Okay. I think it's light... Light weaponry. Oh, okay. Let's see. I don't know if that helps anything, but... Let's see. Um... Weaponry... Oh, I see, I see. Ah, uh, in, in lighter weapons. Okay. It's a specialty. Okay, yeah, then I would add one on to your roll for that. So nice. that's five weaponry plus two dexterity. Okay. For my tiny little dagger. All right, you launch the dagger at the being and Watoto. And you manage to do two lethal damage. Once again, you <gasps> see your friend's pain. I'm so sorry. But also, I don't have my dagger now. Yes, your dagger is gone. It oh. is launched in the beast. Oh. It is ever inching closer to you. All right, Yule, what do you choose to do? I have, I have no weapons, no nothing. <laughs> what do I do? Think on your what feet. What do I do, guys? Improvise. Uh, uh, uh. I will see if there is any weak points or anything usable nearby okay. perception okay you'd basically like to do a perception check yeah okay all right with one success one success um so something that you notice pretty quickly yule is that the beast that is sort of like taking over watoto is not simply like um something attached to watoto's body but is sprouting from within watoto um, and has completely taken over his entire being, um, you get the feeling that uh, the only way that you're going to be able to make it out of this is by completely neutralizing the threat and therefore Watoto, 
um, or trying to reason with the beast, and that in itself may be extremely difficult. Well, reason as in like talk Correct. to it, right? Correct. Okay. All right. I think. Anybody I have think any? Since I have no weapons, weapons, you know, might as well talk it out. <laughs> Yeah, that's the best I can do. Yeah, okay. maybe. Yeah, with the talking, we can do some mental damage and get get mental get damage. Better. <laughs> damage. <laughs> All right. So, how do you choose to approach this? Would you like to use intimidation, persuasion? Uh, persuasion. Okay. No. Yeah, Watoto, you can you can make it out. <laughs> oh. You can come back to us, Watoto. Speaking to your friend. Oh. Why don't you? Why don't you know? Alright. Use your... What is your persuasion plus expression? Uh... Two. How about manipulation? You can use that too. Oh, manipulation... Uh, with that manipulation, uh, it's gonna be three. Okay. Alright, you try to reach out to Watato with your voice. Um, and because of that, um... <gasps> Kitty! <laughs> cute. Um, because of that, uh, you feel as though you really can sense that Watato is still in there, fighting and fighting to, to break free from the control of the creature, uh, of this, this dastardly worm. Um, because of that, uh, for Watato's, or Worm Toto's next roll, um... Watoto will get a plus one to the no. dice pool. No! Watoto! Okay. Break free! Oh, but breaking free. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't worry. <laughs> it's a good damage. thing. Okay. It's a good thing. Okay. Now, Worm Toto is next. Let us roll to see if you can break free for a moment and make this moment your own instead of the worms with a 2d10 greater than 9. <gasps> you succeed! All right. <gasps> We're not going to reroll the 10 because that's all you really needed. For this turn, you may act of your own free will, Watoto. Oh, um, mm, is there like a move set that the the worm has that I could try to use? Um, yes, the worm Ooh. has many different ways of affecting people. Uh, oftentimes, using uh, mental mental tricks. Uh, this this one, this creature specifically. Um, kind of uh, specializes in, in manipulating with mental darkness. Um, additionally, some basic attacks, uh, like grappling with um, one of the three heads sprouting from oh. the body. Wow. Um, oh. mm. And also summoning other creatures uh, to attack momentarily. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. Those are the main things that this creature will do. I don't know. Oh, um, Watoto always has a mushroom in, in you know, the pocket, right? <laughs> yes. Can w Watoto eat the mushroom? <laughs> yes. Um, is this is this just a random mushroom you pick from your pocket? It's a a mushroom that has properties uh to affect the mental psyche. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a, it's a mental or bad. Ah, it's one of those. Okay, gotcha. All right, so you eat the mushroom. Um, and, uh, the, the worm does not particularly like this. What have you done? What <laughs> Toto is strong, mental. Why did you eat that? What mm. Toto's not weak to mushroom, but worm is weak to mushroom. <laughs> Oh. That's right, Wasato has that immunity to mushrooms. That is true. Oh. Um, <laughs> thanks to you eating this mushroom, for the next two turns, the worm will not be able to do mental attacks against the team. Oh, oh. Nice. nice. Yes. Uh, the worm is struggling, but because of this, um, instead, is it's kind of like when you enrage an enemy um, and they only want oh. to attack instead of doing status ailments, oh, etc. Oh, no. So... The worm will focus on attack, but at least, you know, your friends won't turn against each other or, you know, harm themselves, etc. So. Oh, no. All right. Next up, Tiara, what do you choose to do? Mm. Mm. That is a d difficult 
decision. I guess I'll shoot again. Okay. Um, Maybe we can aim for like the legs or something so it can slow down its movement. Alrighty. I'll aim for the leg. Okay. It's an 8d10? Uh, yeah, one question. <coughs> Willpower was like... Yes. Uh, what was that? Adding fa adding dice is onto? Or plus three. Oh. One willpower is plus three? Correct. Ooh. Yes. Let me add one willpower to my... Okay. Oh. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. That's a lot of rolls. All right. One a critical. Ah, two successes. Crit two successes. Ah. So you do about the same amount of damage as last time. Uh, you shoot oh. two quick shots. Um, at the legs of the beast, and you manage to take down one of the legs, um, but oh. the worm is still able to advance um, until you take out the other one. Mm-hmm. Uh, All right. When I shoot in text. Hint, hint, uh, someone take the revolver out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right. <laughs> Scout, you're next. Is that the plan? We're taking out its legs? Wait, is the worm like behind Watoto? Like, so the worm is like coming out of Watoto's body. Oh, uh, okay. And it's oh, kind of wearing okay. Watoto like a skin, but also coming out of the body as well. A very horrific uh, creature. Uh, wink, wink, uh, wait, know. was that... The whisper, was that told to us or was that... I, <laughs> I told you, I told you. You told me Stole take the us. weapon out? Okay. And I'm asking, are we are we taking out the legs? I'll give it a shot. I don't really have any more weapons <laughs> in her. Unless I just take a step backwards, so... Okay. So, if you're going to shoot, um, it's going to be firearms plus... Um, let's see, what was it? Firearms plus dexterity. <laughs> you can, ah, you that's can only a two! Oh, wow, I mean... Wait, mm -hmm. add, add willpower, yeah, <laughs> like me. Well, add, uh, how many did you do? You're not, ne you're not never gonna use it again, after yeah, all. Yeah, true. I used one for free. It adds extra. three dice. I'll add two willpower. Ooh, oh, you not... can only expend one per turn, though. Okay, uh, I'll expend okay. one willpower. All right, that would be pretty <laughs> crazy, though. All right. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Okay. With one success, uh, you managed to do the job. You North? take out the leg. Um, Worm okay. Toto cannot and advance. I give you back nice. the revolver. Okay. Here you go. Good job, team. Next up, Yule. What do you choose to do? Um. Yeah. Uh, still talk to talk to <laughs> Toto, but with with all with a willpower. Put all my willpower yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah. All right, we're using willpower now. Um, so yeah. what is? It is your persuasion plus expression plus three. What will that be? Uh, it could be manipulation too, right? True. Okay, so three plus three, six. All right. Uh, no successes. Your voice does not. <laughs> work what the hell? Sadly. What keeps on talking. <laughs> Your screams cannot what free him. The... Your screams he... cannot free Watoto. Damn. All right. Watoto. Never give up. Watoto tries. Never gonna let you down. Never. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sadly for this turn, Watato cannot escape um, the worm. However, the worm is um, stuck in place, so can't really do anything at this point um, besides try and, and heal itself, which is something that it can do as an eternal being. So I'll have it roll to heal itself. No! No! <laughs> All right. No! Okay. I mean, this is a pretty. This is the lower roll. One of the lower rolls of the, the worm Toto creature at this point. So, uh, all right. Now, what do you choose to do, Tiara? <laughs> so, are, are both legs taken out now? Um, one of them is back up. <gasps> no. This. I shoot this leg too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get that down, yeah, worm boy. <laughs> All right. You gotta stop it and give it time to re recover Watoto. All right, so this particular roll is 8d10, correct? 
Yeah, and I, I won't. Mm, I think I don't need willpower for okay. this one. All right, let's see. All right, one success. Uh, you shoot it down just enough. Nice. All right, Scout, what do you choose <laughs> to do? You're welcome. I have foraging survival skill. Foraging? And we're in a forest. Ooh. I'm going to look for mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Foraging. All right. Um, so let's see. You're going to roll your survival and wits because it's in the moment plus one. Six All right. plus one. So seven. We can do math. Yeah. All right. Wow. With one success, uh, you look around and all of the mushrooms here are extremely alien and not familiar. Um, but you do manage to find one purple one that looks kind of neat. Looks a little similar to the one that Watato had. So you find one mushroom, one purple mushroom. Amazing. Okay. Next up, Yule. What do you choose to do? Uh, can I borrow the revolver <laughs> from Timo? I don't have it anymore. You don't? Take down the health. Scout has it. I hope Scout oh, handed thought... it back to. Yeah, Scout handed it you? back. Yeah. Okay. I can take it. All, All right. right. Well, what's the thing? Firearms? It's firearms and dexterity. And I'll add my willpower. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So what's that? Mm. So that's uh, uh, 1 plus 3 plus 3. Is that 7? Seven? 7. Yeah. Alright. Nice. Ooh. Pretty good. <laughs> I forgot to oh ask where God. you're aiming. My bad. Where are you aiming? Oh, I'm aiming for the... Not at Watoto, but like the monster part growing in the back. Okay, gotcha. All right, you managed to get a really solid hit on the beast, um, and you don't necessarily aim for Watoto, however, because they are intrinsically connected, you see Watoto <gasps> is, is hurt by this. Watoto! And sort of flinches in pain um, and lets out a scream. A Watoto oh, scream. So sorry. This is bad. All right, Worm Toto will now roll uh, to regain control. All right, it's still a 1d10 roll. 1d10. I, I believe in Watoto. It's on power back. No. You're unable to get past no. the worm this time, and you can feel it slowly crushing your, your mind. Oh, shit. Watoto, the, the promise that you made to the worm is just too, it, it's bound for eternity. You feel like you can't beat it. You feel defeated. Don't you lose hope. Don't lose hope. Oh. Come on in. What to do? What to do? No. <laughs> oh, we love you, what to do? Come back. What to right. do? Tiara, what do you choose to do? Mm. Wait, so eh, did the worm not do anything? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, the worm chooses to uh, heal itself. Lame. Oh, no. Okay. Stop healing, you little shit. All right, next up, TR, what do you choose to do? Mm. Do we... Mm, do we see... What are those hands? <laughs> you see his hands? Yeah. Mm. Oh. They're all distorted and mangled. Oh, I don't know. Mm. They're all, all. You're saying he has uh, more than one, uh, more than two. Oh, but both of both of the hands are distorted and mangled. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm. Are the legs restored again? Uh, no. They're still they're okay. still taken down. One okay. is back up though. But he still can't Aww. quite move very far. Okay. Mm, I will uh, once again give give us some time by shooting the leg again. <laughs> Let's go! All right, I, rem I remember this roll now, 8d10. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, with two tens as successes, nice. Yeah! Ooh. Oh my god. Oh! Hmm. Jesus, all right. Wow, that's a really, that's a critical success. Yeah, let's go! Alright, you do a ton of damage to the beast. Yeah, baby. In so much pain. Quit, quit, quit. That is a critical, 
For sure. And at this point, you have completely blasted off uh, one of the legs of the creature. Whoa. This will not be coming Whoa. back. Congratulations. Oh, my goodness. No, um, however, it's also, you know, Watoto's leg, so that kind of sucks. Oh, Watoto will never walk again. Um, but, you know. I'll, I'll roll you in the wheelchair, Watoto. Oh, God. Scout, we'll what do you choose to do? Together after. <laughs> What's it gonna take for me to die of a mushroom? What do I do with it now? Can I ask for my my party's help? Sure. What do I do with this mushroom? Oh, uh, you guys can converse anytime. His mouth. Is the mouth open? It looks song. like it. I mean, there are three it looks different open. mouths on the beast, and then there's Watoto's <laughs> mouth. Is it open? Does I thought they were screaming, right? From pain? Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. I, would, I would say. So it should be open. <laughs> yeah, Bro. it's an open mouth. Use your pants. I, think you uh, <laughs> I feel like you can throw the mushroom. Yeah, what? What, what, what? what do I have to roll to throw this mushroom? This right. purple. If you want to throw it, like really, mushroom. really good, really solid, pretending like you're playing cornhole because you you did that out, out back in the countryside. Um, <laughs> Dexterity plus uh, wits, and then I'll give you a plus one for your country background. Oh, playing Ooh. Will my odds be increased if I craft something? I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to wanna... make a slingshot, but I just—I mean, I have a plus plus in weapon creation. I don't well, know if that will help me. That would take up a turn. Yeah, that that's what, that's what else I was thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. I'll do uh, wits. What was it? Wits dexterity plus one bumpkin yes. power. Yes. So that's five All right. to throw this mushroom. Would you like to expend Believe. willpower? Yes, please. Okay. One willpower. All right, here Believe. we go. Believe! With two successes, you do manage to make the shot uh, straight into Watato's mouth. Watato does kind of have to chew the mushroom a bit. And initially, um, the the problem is the worm is really really trying to get Watato to spit out the mushroom, um, <gasps> so mocha, we'll see mocha, during mocha. the the next turn if Watato oh, is able to stop uh. that. <laughs> All right. Next up, Yule. What do you choose to do? Uh, uh, talk. Uh, I'll talk. I'll <laughs> talk this time. Talker. All right. This Watato, night. chew on that mushroom. Eat it. <laughs> Solid. Okay. All right. Go ahead and okay. roll your persuasion plus manipulation. What is that number? Uh, three. Okay. And I'll use my willpower too, okay. just in case. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Ooh. Oh wow. All right. Chill, Watoto, chill. <laughs> All right. With three successes, Watoto hears your plea, and because nice. of this success. Uh, Watato's composure check, or not really composure check, um, but the check to have Watato take the turn for Watato's self, um, gets plus two dice. So we're rolling a three <gasps> D ten, but it has Watoto. to be greater than nine. Here we go. You can do it. Damn it. <laughs> no success. <laughs> um, he kind of spits out the mushroom. However, no. however, because initially you did make, you did make it into the mouth, uh, the effects of the mushroom do still kind of they do still kind of take place, uh, thankfully, because it is a strong mushroom. This isn't just your regular mushroom. This is an intergalactic mm. mushroom from a new dimension. Something it's that- It's purple. Something that, not, it's purple. Something that not even Watoto's taste buds know or recognize or really know oh, how to deal with. Spicy. It isn't your new typical mushroom. Watoto mushroom. Oh. Uh, so because of that, um, you have successfully incapacitated the beast for the next two turns. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. Nice. Not bad, not bad. So we're so we should look all together use the power of friendship now. Alright, how do you choose to use <gasps> the power of friendship to to stop the beast? Uh, I want to hold hands with the others oh, and oh. talk sense in, into Watoto. Okay, uh, you want to combine your there. powers? You guys should yeah. sing a song. Yeah, we should sing a friendship song. Uh, <laughs> what, what song? <laughs> What's F is for friends? <laughs> what is you guys' yes. song? What's your U is for you? Yay! Yay! <laughs> That's so sweet. That song. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get you guys like a little bit, inch you guys just a bit closer so it makes a little more sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so how do you choose to approach this? Would you like um, to combine everybody's persuasion and manipulation? If you girls don't mind. Yeah, let's do it. One big turn. Mm. Okay. Okie dokie. My persuasion mm. and manipulation together is three. All right. Oh. I only have a one to give. Are you sure this is a good idea? Uh, you may use yeah, willpower sure, if you would like. Yeah. Willpower too. <gasps> I'll Can we all use willpower? If you would uh, like to. I'm okay, I'll I'm use on. my willpower then. So that'll be a six. I'll add six. Okay. I mean, okay, I'll use a willpower that makes it two. Okay. No, but it's free dice. Oh, it's just for one willpower. Yeah, so it's four. Mm. Okay, that's four. Will become the same for me with willpower four. Four? All right. I'll roll the fours first. Mm -hmm. The power of song and friendship. Okay, well, that's too bad the for Tiara. The power of free will set us free. The power of free will set us free. <laughs> the power and... of three will set us free. Ah, I get it. <laughs> That's one success for Scout. What is uh, Yule want to roll? Uh, it's a six. A six. All right. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I really wanted this moment to be super anime. Oh. Um, what the fuck? You can still keep trying. You can keep mm. trying. Uh, you still have okay. another turn where- Oh know, yeah, that's true. Watch it. Watch worm toto. Worm toto is incapacitated. Yeah. Okay. Same. Same one with the yeah. willpower. I don't right. have many left, but okay. Oh god. Yeah, I am looking at all you guys' willpower. I am crossing them off on the sheets. So I also believe still in the power. I of friendship. believe in power of friendship. Yes. You guys should tell Watato the story. Rem remind Watato of the stories oh, yes. of you guys together. Oh, what to do? Do you remember? What to do? Remember our times together, our adventures, and and mm, remember Uhu. Want to play more of Uhu, right? Remember oh, all the God. hotels we went to. You stole the batteries out of all the remotes. Think of all the what? remotes that still batteries. have batteries. You gotta take all the we rocks. You gotta flip. Yeah, you we can flip, flip rocks. rocks together in the college fields. There's a yeah. lot of them. Rocks. Come back to us, Watoto! We need Watoto! You guys, all together, combined, got five successes. Yay! With the power of friendship, you feel your spirits go to Watoto, and you feel the warmth in your heart spreads to Watoto as Watoto ah. remembers the many memories um, that you guys have shared together. And Watato rolls, I'll add all of your successes to Watato's composure roll to break free. Oh God. Watato. And break with free. two successes, <gasps> with two successes, uh, Watato is able to break free from the beast. Just completely? Ooh. Yes. Come they in. separate. Oh, let's go! Yeah. They separate. Uh, the the yeah, worm yeah. is horrified by by you guys' friendship cringe and backs yeah, away ah, 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 um, ah, ah. and says, What the f- what the f*** is this? You what don't is, know what, what friendship, friendship is, Ada. Human power. You will never know. <laughs> you will never understand the power of friendship. <laughs> uh, Watato <laughs> still looks pretty disgusting, though. Still, still missing legs. Um, Sorry. It's okay, Watoto's back with us. We'll make it grow back with, um, some Mag magic, yeah. Watoto? <laughs> I'll study Watoto. magic for 10 years. I'll push you in the wheelchair. Mm. We'll push you together. We'll carry yeah. you. All right. We'll, we'll find a magical, magical mushroom. I'm sure it can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Watoto! Sweet. That's very sweet. However, the, the worm still has plans for you guys, um, and is now ready to, ready to battle, continue the fight. 
You want to change your voice? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoops. No, the worm was the, the worm, worm is ready. That. Yes. <laughs> the worm is ready to continue our fight. Let us okay. go. Okay, so right. Wat does Watato get like a turn number thingy initiative? Uh, no, because Watato is really messed up from all the things that mm. you did to Watato, uh, Watato will be last. Okay. Will be last here okay. on the. Watato is bleeding out. Watato! Watato! Yeah, it's painful. Maybe now that Ina, uh, you will doesn't have to talk Watato out of the worm anymore, and she could do some first dating. But yeah. Anyway. yeah. yeah. That is okay. true. Worm turn. Worm okay. turn. Yeah, so Watoto, essentially right now you are at... Um, I'm going to go ahead and put you at four lethal damage <gasps> from the things Oof. they your friends have, you know, they've been beating you up. Watoto! It was mostly me! <laughs> it was mostly... I was just trying to save us! I thought you like Watoto. Why you <laughs> Watoto? Why I don't know why you... we were in a dire situation, Ada. All right, <laughs> me. Scout, what do you choose to do in this moment? Uh, but I don't have any idea. I'm gonna borrow this revolver I am holding. Um, you have your pickaxe. Or the pickaxe. What am I gonna do? Throw it at it? You can um, run up to it. Light your pants it. on fire. True. I don't know if I want to get close to it. Mm. You could throw the pickaxe. I don't when you lose, lose the pickaxe. That is true. You would well, lose it, but you could go grab it again, of course. Could I position myself? Could I run behind it? Yeah, sure. Ooh. All right. Here, I'm going to play another song. Yeah. Yes. All right. You'd like to use your turn to go behind the beast. Or... I could light the broom on fire and Ooh. toss it. Oh, that would take a turn. It would. Okay, I'll do it. I'll I'll, I'll light the broom. I've got matches. Okay. I've got a broom still, and I have weapon creation. Okay, <gasps> gotcha. So cr if you want to create the weapon, uh, you're gonna need wait, to use this, crafting what? weapon. Wait, 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 wait. Why is scout first? Did we skip? Tia, we did we the did friend something. Right? Yeah. Your, the friendship chant was your idea. Oh, I thought we were already in like another turn. Oh, wait, that... Eh? Oh, we didn't use any of the other girls' turns for that. No. Oh, it oh nice. Okay. Turn. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. All right. Set him on fire. So, go ahead and roll okay. your crafting plus weaponry plus one. <laughs> Does this count as an aggressive light weapon? <laughs> or no? Um, it's pretty light. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty light. Yeah, sure, you can. Because <laughs> it's crafting four, weaponry four, but both I have weapon creation and light, aggressive uh, light weapon. You can weapon. only use one of those. Oh, okay. Well, four, four, eight plus one. Is nine. Okay. Wait, crafts plus... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nine. Okay. Um, sadly, are you kidding you are, me? <laughs> you are unable to craft the weapon you wish to create. Oh, um, stupid! Yeah. Oh, very sad. Um, sad day. It looks like uh, you you will need to uh, attempt again if if you want. You didn't crit fail though, so that's good. I you guess may I'll try, try again. again. Yeah. I'm nervous. Time. It's okay. I'm okay. shaky. You got this. All right, Yule. It's your turn. What do you choose to do? I will try to stop. Bleeding on Watoto. Okay. Make sure um, Watoto doesn't die. All right, do a nice. medicine and wits check, please. What are those two combined? Uh, four. I all also right. have first... I don't know if first aid does anything. Uh, first, first aid will not apply for this. Okay, so four. Hey, BGM too quiet. N no, my... So my computer's really overloaded right now, so it's, like, not playing the BGM. Oh. It's, like... Uh -huh. it's like Loading infinitely, so let me try. Imagine. Yeah, just, just epic imagine boss music. Epic boss music playing until I can dun, get dun, this dun, to play. Bring your own BGM to work day. Yeah, sorry about <laughs> that, guys. I'm trying to have it load, but uh, it really doesn't want to. Okay, uh, let me pause this, maybe. Okay, um, okay, Yule, what do you choose to do? Uh, I, I think you already rolled. Oh, I did. You're right. Yeah, One yeah. success. Okay. 
Um, let's see, you go ahead and heal one lethal damage from Watoto, who now only has uh, three lethal damage. Oh, so. Watoto, hang in there. Nice! There's Watoto leg. Okay. Yay! He's still few. <laughs> one leg is missing, Watoto. One leg is gone forever. <laughs> no. Unless? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's bad. definitely gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely gone. Okay, now Watato, what do you choose to do in this moment? Um, mm, uh, I, I still have my weapon, homemade weapon arsenal, which I think just consisted of like a sound gun, right? Oh, uh, correct. You did have a sound gun. That was pretty oh. sick. Could stun. Would you yeah, like to stun, stun the beast? Uh, yeah. I'll okay. use some of the. Um, Use the uh, air horn setting. Oh, nice. Air horn setting. You set it to air horn, and go ahead. And I'm gonna have you make. I'm gonna have you use it as a weapon. So weaponry and dexterity for this one, just because it's a unique kind of weapon. Uh, okay. Um, dexterity. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't have any weaponry, but I have dexterity too. Okay. So that'll be one, unless you use willpower. That is um. Okay. One I'll use a willpower. Okay. Four d ten. With the sound gun. Okay. <gasps> nice. The sound gun. Nice. Wow. Thanks to the sound gun, uh, you actually stun the being, uh, this nice. horrific nightmare creature, um, and you manage to take down some health and also paralyze. Paralyze. Oh, nice. Hey, yo. Nice. Yep. Ooh. And so, thankfully, um, uh, so thankfully, uh, the next turn will be skipped. From the oh. worm. Nice. All right. Now, Tiara, what do you choose you have to, to do? to kill it. Oh. Yep. Uh, hmm. I take another shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. All Let's right. go. Uh, this time, I'm aiming for head. Gotcha. You take a shot for the head. Ooh. With Boom, two head successes, shot. Uh, you manage to pull off a pretty clean head shot. Nice. Nice, nice job. Pew, 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 pew. The creature roars, unhappy with Down. what you are doing. Very <laughs> displeased. <laughs> Not very pleased about getting beaten the hell up. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me open another tab. I am desperately trying to pull off some BGM. Okay, um, <laughs> next up, Scout. What do you choose to do? I'm doing it again. Nine. All right. Let the broom go. With another willpower. <laughs> it looks like uh, I think you only have one more left after this. I'm not using oh. willpower. Oh, I got a plus from uh, weapon creation and That's or right. aggressive lay weapon. You are right. I have You're two willpower nice. left. You're just that good. Okay. Wow. Whoa, oh, shit. three. Let's see if it doesn't work once, you can try it again. You successfully three. craft. Um, you successfully craft a. Hold on a second. Wait, you my broom is on one fire. More. Yep. You just gotta roll. Wait, hold on a sec. All right, so now your broom is on fire, and it's it's a very mighty fire, and it'll it's going to do a lot of damage if, if, <laughs> and only <laughs> if. Hold on a sec. All right, I found a way to get the BGM back. Okay. There's... All right, if and only if you can manage to make it hit. Mm. All right. BGM. I found it. Did anybody know, like, in the perception roll, there's, like, it's the forest floor, correct? Correct. Oh, we're in, like, a ravine thing. Okay. Is it rocks? Uh, you, yeah, there are, well, there's a lot of rocks and a lot of smog all around you. No grass? No grass. Oh, Not any grass mushrooms. can be seen. There are mushrooms. Mm. Okay, let's see. Where did that go? There it is. All right. This will work. Okay. Yatta. Oh. All righty. Next up, we've got Yule. All right. What do you choose Whoa. to do? Uh, I will... Um, use the revolver. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, you use the, revo the revolver. Go ahead and rule your firearms and dexterity. How many willpower do I have left? Two? You have two left. Okay, I'll use willpower too. Okay, so what's that number? Uh, so that's 
Dexterity, 35, I'm going for 7. All right. With a 7d10. Two successes. Oh, rolls are not on the screen. Huh? Oh, sorry about that. There we go. All right. You managed to get three. Three successes. Nice. Yay. Turns out you're actually a great shot. You will be all oh. right. Oh. <laughs> we'll be all right. Yeah. And you make quick work nice. of the <laughs> nice of the monster mm. who does not really have much health left at all. You guys think that you're really approaching the end here. Yeah. All it will take is just a little bit more. Watoto, what do you choose to do? Watoto wants to ask the being a question. Okay. Oh. oh. Yes. The, the being is furious at. You, you, you have completely disobeyed me, Watoto, and you will pay for this on an existential and universal level. Watoto has now lost a leg. Watoto has barely anything left to lose. <gasps> The, the creature almost seems a little bit impressed by by your tenacity and uh, and your you who has such a strong spirit and you don't give up Watoto. It is impressive, but you still you really don't get any kind of coherent response uh, from the worm at this, uh, who is still curiously trying to you know very curious about you guys as a whole, um, oh. and you sense a bit of hesitance now from the worm in um, in continuing on this fight, almost as though he's considering not doing it anymore, but oh. not quite at this point. Yeah. The worm is still going to attempt to bring yeah. you back, Watoto, no. to, br to bring you back by using um, mental tricks. <gasps> this is yeah. where you end, worm. <laughs> oh. With two successes, uh, you begin to feel your mind being drawn back to the worm, Watoto. Watoto! What's your composure? Uh -oh. oh, uh... A three? Okay. All right. Oh. Try as the worm does to bring you back, uh, you are able to match the worm's strength in mental <gasps> with your own strength of heart. Let's go! Let's go, Atoto! And the worm yeah. can't fall. Yeah. <laughs> Tiara, what do you choose to do? Shoot! All right. <laughs> Plus one willpower. Okay, oh boy. So, 11. Oh boy. 11. Can All right. I kill him? With two successes, you have almost, you've just barely managed. There's just a little sliver left. One HP. One HP in a dream. I hate it when they stay alive <gasps> with, one, with one HP. Yeah, they just barely. I love it when I stay alive with one HP. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scout, what do you choose to do? You gonna throw your broom? Um, what what will I have to roll if I do that? Uh, let's see. It's gonna be a dexterity, and I'm still gonna have to make it be weaponry for you. But I would consider it a light weapon. I'm gonna throw this broom. All right, mm. finish him. So, what's your dexterity Get plus in. weaponry plus one? Six right. plus one, seven right. plus willpower oh. is and one. And you want to use willpower? Two. Okay. All right, ten. That makes it ten. Yes. <gasps> Kill it. All right, ten, <laughs> eight, ten, and eight. You throw the broom with all of your strength, ah. as though as though throwing a burning javelin. <sighs> One success. <laughs> um, That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, that was, the, that was all that you needed, Scout. Nice. And um, before you know it, uh, the worm <laughs> has been es essentially neutralized. However, you also realize there you know, is a bit of realization here that this is not really quite the extent of the entire worm. This is merely just a servant of the worm. But because uh. of this... Uh, you you hear that the the beast, after letting out another mighty roar, speaks to you, not just you, Watoto, but the rest of your team, and says, "You are much stronger than I thought. I cannot have you in this world. If if I were to keep you in this world, I may suffer extreme mental damage. That is something I, I cannot abide." being the god of this creation. And so I will take my leave. 
Nice. Um, However, one? Is it really? However, I have only one request that you must abide. And as and as the the creature says this, it grows very large, and you realize that you know this being is actually pretty much unkillable. Um, uh. But says I will show <laughs> mercy to you and your world if you stay out of my business forever. Uh, what, what is, is your, your business? Your question. <laughs> stay away from the supernatural world and oh. never return. Uh, uh, and then you don't return to our world? That's it? That is not possible. I will always have my hand in your creation, but I will stay away from you. Mm, doesn't seem like a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> that seems I fine. Mean, if we're being logical here, if you don't get involved with us, but then you do something to our family or anything mm. around us, it'll technically affect us. If it affects my family by doing something else to someone else, and it affects my family and then affects me, then it's affecting okay, you're me. Starting so to I hurt, don't... You're starting to really hurt my head. Please, please shut <laughs> up. I mean, I'm <laughs> trying to be logical here. Because I, I there's this thing related. called, uh, you know, the butterfly effect, and if you affect well, anyone else in deal. our world... Tell us how to get out of here! Yeah, I'm about two seconds from changing my mind. <laughs> okay, 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 we'll get out of here, we'll get out of here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, can I ask for one more request? Sorry. You dare ask for another favor? Yes, yes because you were so impressed with us. Uh, uh, please, please uh, heal Watoto's leg. Give him some one of your limbs, please. You don't, no. you can't regrow them, right? Watoto, Watoto had to pay the price. No, Watoto. Watoto is a traitor to my cause, and I will never forgive Watoto. Someday I will come back for Watoto's soul. But for now, I will leave you be. You can what try. Well... And just like try. that, the being descends Watoto. into the darkness. Watoto will be back. <laughs> like the Terminator. Watoto is so Watoto cool. Is. What the is <laughs> It's just called a what the cool worm? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what the will come fast. back to finish the worm? Cool. <laughs> uh, the worm stops talking. <laughs> Your time is limited, worm. <laughs> <laughs> the worm stops talking. Uh, but where's the exit? The, the worm does not really respond leave. to you. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> One important thing, how how do we get out of here? The light. Well, there's still true. the light. Well, the worm doesn't seem keen on helping you get out. So you may need to figure that uh, out on your own. Mm. If you knew how to create some kind of large flash. Large flash. How about all old phone cameras at once? The power of friendship. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, thought those burner phone is dead. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> No, but Watoto has a tinfoil hat. <gasps> it can shine light on the tinfoil hat. Watoto will make a disco ball. You want to try and make a disco ball, Watoto? Uh, okay. Well, crafts, <laughs> crafts, and dexterity. Uh, okay. Uh, two and oh wait, four. Okay, so it's four. All right. Uh, sadly, you cannot make a disco ball. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, Gotta get light. What uh, items do you guys have? I mean, we still have. Do we still have the vodka? You do. Uh, and we have the matches. Mm -hmm. yeah. We make a giant circle on the ground with alcohol and set it on fire. Yeah. You could try to do that. Right. Uh, Go ahead and roll um, whoever wants to set this up another crafts and dexterity roll. I already rolled. Oh, I'll so do it. Is. Okay. I have four crafts and three dexterity. What's crafter? Crafter, crafter sense? sense? Is that a merit or a specialty? It's a, It's like written beside the skill. Oh, okay. Then, then that's a specialty. Plus one. Plus one. 
Okay, so seven, eight. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, you get the job done. It's not fancy. It doesn't nice. go great. And you pray it'll work. You're not sure. It wasn't good quality vodka. Yeah, not the best. All right, you set it on fire? Yeah. All right. With a great whoosh, you drop a oh, match on the vodka. Yeah. And the light becomes very intense um, all oh. of a sudden. It is enough of a flash to kind of to kind of brighten brighten up the mirror enough so that it's not really obscured. It's it's actually it looks like it's in focus now. However, okay. it's still just an image. So you've solved the issue of getting light on the mirror. But mm. Tiara, you feel like there's still one more step. How are you going to have this mirror send you home? Uh, my 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 pendant. You you want to try and use your pendant? I guess. How would or, you use it? Um. Um. How about I? How about you roll a little perception check? Okay, perception check. All right. Uh, Maybe the mirror's dirty and you got to spit on it and shine it. <laughs> <laughs> or mm -hmm. or I have to shed a tear on it. You know, <laughs> so it's the tears. But now I have Cry for Watoto's leg. <laughs> I, I'll perceive. All I right. only have three, though. Okay, let's give it a try. With one success, that's... All right, oh. I will give you this one hint. I'm thinking... Well, you're thinking, by looking at it, something on the more permanent side. You get a feeling this mirror has one use. Break mm. the mirror. But we we break it. Do you choose to break the mirror? Um, is there a return button if it doesn't work? <laughs> no, there is not. You have to take a chance. All right, smash, smash, smash. All right, smash. So smash. he wouldn't let me do this if this makes us stuck forever in here, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I might make you find another way out. Okay. All right. So all of you guys stand in a circle. Tiara grabs the mirror and throws it on the ground in order to Cut smash it. it. And Bam. with a shatter, <gasps> it smashes. Clear. And nothing happens. Shit. And then one what? second later, okay. another great flash <laughs> erupts and the mirror almost stands up on its own. As you notice, as you, it's less noticing and it's more like you perceive wholly and completely all of creation of your uh. real world flooding into this dimension. And you can feel this dimension shatter and cease to be. Wow. As your reality once again, once again, completely fills your surrounding, almost like a painting, almost like, like paint filling a, a canvas or a bucket. It's mm. almost kind of magical and beautiful in a sense. Mm. But before you know it, within the blink of an eye, you have returned. Back. <gasps> it worked! It did no work. We're back! You have returned. Nice. How do we know this is the real dimension, the right dimension? Pinch! I mean, <laughs> would you like cheek? to roll perception to find out? Uh, I can roll. I'll look around. It's a seven. Hold on a sec, I'm having a hard time here. Hold on a second. These animated BGs, man. Alright, let me... <laughs> It's raining. It's so raining sad day indeed. For rain. Hold on. All right, this isn't gonna work. Um, <laughs> sorry, I can't hear anything you guys say whenever I play like media for whatever reason. Mm. All right. Oh. Um, I'm just gonna say you guys. All right. Um, actually, let's put you guys here because this is quite beautiful. Uh, you guys are not sent back, however, to where you wanted to go. Um, you are sent into the icy cold mountains uh, beside <laughs> Mithdin. Oh, why is this happening in the background? Uh, in the icy cold um, mountains where there actually seems to be an aurora borealis above your heads. Oh, pretty. Mm. Wow. Very beautiful. Um, and um, just like that, you're back. Do you want to roll perception? Yeah. Okay. Let me guess, you, well, you'd like to roll perception, wouldn't you, you very perceptive player? <laughs> You're very perceptive, Yule! Yeah. No successes, you just know it's cold. 
Yeah, it's cold, you know? My <laughs> eyes don't work very well in the cold. <laughs> you keep sneezing. It's what? Toto is slipping away. What, Toto? <gasps> no! What, Toto? <laughs> mm. What, Toto? You still, you have three lethal, so it's not quite bad, but you are bleeding. What, Toto needs bad. warmth. Hug, oh, don't, don't, no. <laughs> hug, everyone hug. gather around. Hug. Everyone Hello. hugs Watoto. Hug. <laughs> to keep Watoto warm. Thank you, Watoto, for fighting to get out of the worm. Yeah. You saved Watoto. You are the heroes. We all saved each dun, other. Dun. Yes. Oh. But Thank now it's cold. Together. Now oh, what do we do? Oh, my cell phone is ringing. <gasps> Yo, we have reception here. There? there is reception in these mountains. <gasps> Whose phone is that? It's Yule's phone. Oh, oh I'll pick up the phone. H hello? <clears throat> you hear a voice on the other end. Hey, Yule. Hey, did you guys ever finish your mission? Oh, my. Is it Vic? <laughs> it's Vic. How does he have your number? Uh, how'd soccer. you get this number? Oh, 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 I don't, I don't know. I just, I, I just had it in my contacts somehow. <laughs> hey, we're cool and everything, right? I did save you and like bring you pizza and stuff. Yeah, like that yeah, you mission. did, you did. Yeah, yeah we probably but, exchanged but... it then. I'm, I'm not like a, I'm not weird or anything. It's just no, you know, of course, of course not. Um, we're, <laughs> we're, uh, we, we're kind of stuck in the mountains. I think we finished our mission, but um. <laughs> oh. We might need a little bit of a pickup, you know. Wait, don't we, if, do we need to block Vic? Because isn't Vic a vampire? So we're not allowed to get involved in like the supernatural that stuff. That is true. Oh. That is true. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, actually, on the second thought, uh, yeah, 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 we're good. <laughs> Bye. Wait, I can come. And you, <laughs> had, you, you turn off the phone. Um, that is that is true. You guys are not allowed. Um, to have any kind of supernatural contact from here on out, lest the worm uh, come back and destroy your lives. Um, ah. However, you do notice know. now you'll you guys have service here. Oh, just call an Uber. What does one needs to go <laughs> to the hospital? Well. <laughs> oh yeah, hospital first. We can hospital to do. Um, ambulances I mean, I don't are know expensive. If an Uber will come out here, but we could call an ambulance. I mean, we can go, get down the mountain. Ambulances are expensive. <laughs> We could split an Uber, right? But in the end, we'll have to go anyway, right? I mean, we're not necessarily in America where the ambulances are shit fucking expensive. Maybe we're in Europe. <laughs> it's not Actually, so bad you know there. this area. Um, you guys, especially Yule, uh, because your college did like a trip up to this area for skiing. It's oh, really just well... a nice mountain next to Mifton. It's not far away. Oh, Mifton. okay. Um, we can probably carry Ototo down the mountains. It's not too far to get to town, and I'm sure we can find some sort of ride there. Watoto sled. <laughs> <laughs> Watoto loves sled. Okay, so if all of you guys want to take Watoto down the mountain, all it's going to do, um, we're just going to require um, a strength check from uh, everybody. What's your strength? Two. Okay. Uh, three. Right. You, so just one person three. needs to succeed. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Scout! Nice! Okay. Hold on. Oops. One, ten, group eight. Okay, and then let's see how effective the carry is. Okay. Scout carry. Yeah, Ooh. very nice. Okay. So, nice. Uh, you guys do manage um, to just barely um, carry Watoto. Um, you know, he's not feeling, or Watoto is not feeling very good, um, but. That's okay, because you guys are warm, and you guys are doing your best to carry your friend. Also, Watato's very light and small, so thankfully it's not much of an issue. Um, and you do remember, um, you actually do see a trail, and you're able to follow it just a little ways down, um, and it becomes morning time. Um, morning time in this beautiful uh, mountain region. It's very lovely. Um, here in the mountains, and... Um, and you guys find um, a small, it's not really a hospital, it's its a, like a nice clinic uh, meant for skiers oh. that get into skiing oh. accidents. Um, and there you are able to get Watoto the help that Watoto needs. And you guys nice. stay the night there at the clinic. 
Nice. <gasps> hmm. Yes. Does Watoto have any uh extra dimension space mushroom side effects? <laughs> um, no, thankfully. Not not for <laughs> now, it would seem. <laughs> for now. But who knows what Watoto could happen. will grow second brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, second brain for Watoto. <laughs> Right. And we have some nice alpine hot uh, foof. What? 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 Hot food? <laughs> no, no. Uh, you know, in alpine huts on the mountains, we have some really yummy food. Oh, up there. alpine, alpine. Oh yes. Alpine. <laughs> oh, al alpine. Oh, I see. I see. I get it. <laughs> hot alpine. on the Alps. <laughs> oh yeah, just like camping. Mm. They, One, two. they have really yummy food there. Ah, we, maybe sure. we have one finishing meal. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys do spend the night um, in the clinic together, and yeah, it is yeah. very cozy. Um, and, you know, they it's not really, it's summertime, so it, like skiing isn't like really big. Like there was some snow on the mountains, but skiing isn't like huge. So they haven't had a lot of, you know, skiing accidents. So they're fairly oh. open, and they allow you guys to stay the night and you guys spend time by the fire uh, talking about um, the many journeys that you guys had together um, mm. and recounting your memories um, of the mm. times spent. And um, Watsuto, with some crutches, you're back on your way and the following day, um, you guys find yourselves um, heading back from the mountain without a car. Um, but you guys do find your way to a crossroads um, by the mountains. It's very beautiful, mm. full of flowers and grass. And um, from here on out, you guys realize no one's really telling you where to go or what to do. And all of you are kind of able to choose your own direction and path from here. Mm. Wow. I'll stay. I like the mountains. Uhu likes snow mountains because snow owl. Oh. I'll stay, Ara. So you decide for to stay and make your, homes in, your home in the mountain for a bit? Yes, for now, Ara. And perhaps bye bye, continue guys. your travels. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Uh, what about... Uh, I, I, I have your phone number saved, so uh, call yeah. me whenever you need me, I guess. Bye, yeah, let's stay lady. in contact. <laughs> and, True. And it was nice, but now Watoto? I need a break, Ara. Watoto, what do will you... you write Watoto letters? Eh, I will... I will write you letters, and I will write you DMs, and I will do anything. <laughs> oh. Don't forget me, Watoto. Never. <laughs> oh, oh. Sorry you lost your leg because of me. It's okay, I forgive you. Oh. I, I'll, I'll pay for a really high-tech wheelchair for you. Okay. I'll hold you to it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, Watoto, what do you choose to do here at this crossroads next to the mountain? Watoto has a plan. Watoto Ooh. will find Dad Toto, Mom Toto. Aww. And Watoto will start herb business. Ooh. And Watoto will get a bionic leg. Nice. <laughs> Pretty metal. Okay, no need for my wheelchair then. <laughs> no, I I'll, can use I'll that. I'll pay for I the leg. Need that. <laughs> That's sweet. What do you choose to do, Yule, here at this crossroads? Well, I guess I gotta go back to school and finish my degree. Mm. Or master's. I forgot what I was doing, honestly. <laughs> Are you gonna now explain the Dr. dead Oopsie's professor? Not around. <laughs> Dr. Oopsie's super Now that Dr. Dead. Oopsie's not around, I'm gonna have to find a new... But, you know... Yeah, you might want to get away on. from that case, Yule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure, will be fine. That is a missing person's work, case yeah. right there. <laughs> It'll work out. Yeah. Yeah. And um, how about how about you, Scout? What do you choose to do? Scout leans down in the field and picks one single blade of grass and <gasps> puts it into the corner of her mouth. She oh. reaches down, grabs her god pickaxe she made on her journey, <gasps> slings it over her right shoulder, oh. turns to look at the other girls and says, It's been great! And I learned a lot and I appreciate it, but I got to go find my sister and make her life for her and I. I'll see you around. See you around. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> GG. Goodbye. Thank Goodbye. you for Goodbye. saving Wakuto. 
Stay in touch, everyone. Oh, I'm just so sad now. <laughs> just Good like music, that. though. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty. It's pretty emo. <laughs> pretty emotional. <laughs> um, but as you guys, um, you guys kind of give each other one final look um, as you turn away from each other and all head in different directions down the crossroads, each of you taking a different path, knowing that someday, someday you guys will meet again. Certainly. Mm. Someday. Oh. And you'll keep writing to each other. And even though life may change, and even though you may meet other people along the way, and even though those memories may get further away, the mm. four of you were friends. Nothing will ever change that. T T power friendship. Power, power friendship. friendship. Yeah. Yay. And Yay. That is the end of Myth Breakers. Yeah. Nice job, Kelly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Well done. Yeah. Good Thank dramatic you. end. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for our friendship. <laughs> yeah. Thank I'm surprised you Watoto got to live. I was prepared. <laughs> Watoto was prepared to die. Yeah. Yeah. Just to let him go. I was prepared to to kill you for the greater good. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, think, I think everybody was kind of yeah, definitely, definitely ready to do. <laughs> definitely ready for that, but um, you didn't want to. <laughs> You know, no one, yeah. no one wants yeah. to get rid of Wasato. Oh, of course not. Of course not. No. 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 Wasato no. gets to live a happy life uh, with an herb shop with Watato clan. Uh, should yeah. Watato be able yeah. to find them? Um, yeah. So we wish all of the characters um, good journeys. Let's hope that Yul graduates college and that Tiara is <laughs> in the mountains with Uhu. Um, and that Scout is able to find her sister and make a life with her far away from their parents who really suck. Um, yes. Yeah, those guys are the worst. <laughs> and um, the futures are open for everyone. However, they are not allowed to interact with supernaturals ever again. So a lot of the people that they encountered in the past, uh, they are really gone for good unless... Mm. Unless all of the ghosts that are still chasing Tiara may come and try to find her in the mountains and all she can do is run in order to not incur the wrath of the worm. But, oh. but it's probably fine, right guys? Probably It'll fine. It'll of work out. Well, it always does. Unless. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, thank you so much to you guys, the players as well, for making Mythbreakers uh, what it was. Just a really fun and exciting place for us to like... I don't know, just fool around and like play some characters and like RP and stuff. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. really Thank fun. You, Thank you, Kelly. It was so Thank much work. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> For accepting my crazy idea of let's do a TTRPG. It has been a blast. And um, mm. and I hope you guys um, get some good rest after this. And um, You too. Oh, oh. We'll do yeah. uh, taking that before the next stream, which is, which <laughs> is uh, there's a whole life fighting game out. I oh, oh. Like give, a, give oh. that a shot. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much to the viewers as well for sticking with us for so long, for believing in us. And um, it's been quite the ride. But everybody, you take care of yourselves. And um, we'll catch you We'll catch you guys later. Thank you so yeah. much, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care and never forget. The friends we made along the way, they were our power. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Friendship That's, was that's how you fun. fight the Eldritch. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> use power friendship. Uh, with that being said, I'm your Mori. I hope you remember me. That would be cool. Um, and, yeah. Thank you! Bye, everyone! Ultimate! Ultimate! Breakers! Ultimate! Breakers! Ultimate! Breakers! Oh yeah. Patch, snap. Patch, patch. <laughs> snap those around. pictures. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. See you next time. <laughs>